So oh, Joseph has become my fan officially because he is standing behind the camera and filming me I'm repeatedly. To the audio <laughs> okay. So, so, so I wonder what you think. So, so, I would like to discuss Joseph. You need to have a cameraman. I do not, but unfortunately, I don't get paid for any of this. And so, if someone wants to follow, I don't like it. Does that's I, dozens and I, dozens I, of dollars? I've cameras. never paid. For, I've never been paid for this. No, but you, you come on. I, some I of need the to start asking these guys to to share some of the blessings. Hmm? If, if any of the Dawah guys want to volunteer for the Zionists, we're more than happy to have you as Zionists. They, they, they won't do that. They won't do that. It's like asking them to volunteer for ISIS. No, they wouldn't do that. I mean, some of them from the park they, did, but we won't go there. From the park? Yeah, there was one of the guys, one of your cameramen was arrested in jail for having an ISIS. No, he, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, and what happened? What did you say about you that? You distance yourself. What? No, 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 no. If an ISIS guy walks through the park, is that our fault? No, he's yeah. your cameraman. If someone, if, if an ISIS guy is peeing there, Adnan, under a tree. your cameraman, and yet you... you no, 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 no. I agree no. with what you're thinking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you're a Zionist. Wait, 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 wait. You're a Zionist. To me, you're as good as ISIS. I mean, wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm being blunt. And you're filming me right now. Are you my cameraman now? Are you my cameraman? No. So, 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 so before... Talk. Think before you talk. Think before you talk. Joseph. You the overwhelming a, a Zionist, a Zionist. I'm just going to have to do it with bad audio, but it's going to mic. No, you have, you have. A... No, I'm going to put these a bit lower down. just we're maxing out. But... Okay, so, so, so you are as good as an ISIS fighter to me. You are a Zionist, self-confessed, open, public Zionist. You are right. So to me, you are as good as ISIS. You're filming me right now. Are you my cameraman now? No. There are so many people here. I mean. I don't know, hundreds of people have been filming us in the park. So this one guy turns out to be dodgy. They start making him our cameraman. This is what these people do. So Joseph, can you come back and respond to that? Just trying to get my order. Leave it, leave it. We will give you a copy from this. Come, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it. So, so now tell me, do you become my cameraman? Uh, you, technically, he's my cameraman at the moment. He's filming me right now. He's working so hard. He obviously loves me so much that he really wants to fix this. You know, it's catching my voice. I can see it there. Yeah, it's catching my voice. Leave it, man. So, 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 so if any extremist sneezes anywhere in the world, it's not my problem, right? Uh, but you are a Zionist. Anything the Zionist state does, you can argue for it, right? Joseph, you can talk from there. I'm going to talk with us. Okay. So, so it's very easy to throw stones at people when you live in glass houses. Don't do that. Yeah? While Joseph is, uh, is busy doing that, uh, we've had many conversations in the past, myself and Joseph. Uh, we have a very cordial kind of relationship, even though we are far apart ideologically from each other. We are two different, uh, I, I would say, on, on, on the side of, I mean, two different sides of the fence. Okay, I'm on the side of Islam, the Muslim civilization, the greater Muslim civilization. And I talk about the Muslim civilization and its impact on the world. Muslims, when they came to power in the 7th century, when they brought Islam as a political force into the world, they brought with them a civilization called the Muslim civilization. And people flourished under Islam. Most importantly, the Jewish people, right? And Zionist propagandists like Joseph they argue that the Zionist state of Israel is a good thing, okay? And when we challenge him on the atrocities they are committing for the last 70 years, they have been committing a lot of atrocities, he somehow attempts to defend those atrocities. Firstly, the theft of the land, okay? Then forced migration or forced exile of the Palestinians. Then the brutality that's that still continues. Last week, how many people were killed? Last, last week, innocent people 
And if a Muslim terrorist did that, the same media around the world would be going crazy. You know, they would be going crazy. If, 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 and what does Israel say? Collateral damage. These innocent people who died, women and children, in a bombing raid, collateral damage. Collateral damage, okay? So, if the Muslims were doing this, then people like Joseph, they would, they would be running a marathon up and down the park. He would go there, he would come back, and then he'd go back. Now he's fixed it. Oh, and good. It. Now we got it. No, okay. So now. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, we can see it. That's why it's coming into the camera. Yes. Okay, off we go. Off we go. <laughs> being being filmed being filmed by a Zionist cameraman. Okay, uh, and several several. So, let's bring it back to principles. We both know what a Zionist is, but for the for the audience that don't know, a Zionist is simply anybody that supports the state the existence of the state of Israel as a Jewish state. So you have Muslim states around the world, you have Christian states around the world. Israel's a Jewish one. If you support the Palestinians and you support an Israeli state, and you support a two-state solution, so Palestine and an Israel, then you're a Zionist. The overwhelming majority of British Jews, 82% of them, and the overwhelming majority of Jews in the world are by definition a Zionist. 82% of British Jews see Israel is central to their identity. So when, is, when Adnan compares Zionists to ISIS, He's saying anybody that supports that Jewish state is the equivalent to a barbarian that beheads um, people of a different faith, who enslaves Yazidi girls, who murders and rampages and causes hell on earth. Absolutely. He's, he's comparing all of those I'm people. standing by what I said. In, in Israel as well. And yeah, this is... You know, Baha'is are in there and they live fine. Do you exactly. mean? Yeah. Yeah. Arabs, they're, they're literally seen. Muslim party in the Israeli government. There are Arabs that have sent Jewish prime ministers and Jewish presidents to jail. And this clown Hitler had to compare Hitler, that to ISIS? Hitler had Jewish collaborators. Hitler had Jewish collabor collaborators. No, just because so Hitler... He's calling no, his fellow Muslims no, no. collaborators. Yes. Yeah, anyone working with the state of Israel to suppress, oppress and abuse Palestinians is a collaborator. Uh, can I put it any, uh, in, in any simpler words? Can I? This is, the, this is the simplest language I can use, right? So, coming back to the issue of Zionism, okay? It doesn't matter how many people agree with it. It makes no difference. Germany under Hitler was a Nazi Germany. The majority of Germans were with Hitler. Hitler was the most popular leader. How did he become the most popular leader? Through propaganda, through his charisma, through his practice of speeches. You know, Hitler actually would go and practice speeches. He would practice oratory. I believe Hitler as evil, as barbaric, as whatever as he was, he was one of the best auditors of the 20th century okay his auditory was very powerful his public speaking skills were very powerful he used them for evil ends he used them to massacre innocent jewish people okay now just because germans had become nazis predominantly do we now say all the germans are following hitler so therefore there is something to to accept uh, there is uh, uh, Nazism becomes acceptable just because 80, 90 percent of the Germans were behind Hitler. Firstly, I don't accept what Joseph says that most British Jews are Zionists. I don't accept that. I don't accept that, right? But even if that was the case, let's say 80 percent of the Jewish people living in Britain were Zionists. Does that render Zionism valid? Does that make Zionism a good uh, force in the world? Does that make Zionism? An acceptable ideology? Absolutely not. So don't play this numbers game with us. Let's get to the crux of it. What is Zionism? It came about uh, in the in the late 19th century. A bunch of secular uh, Jewish journalists and intellectuals and tycoons and bankers they came together and they came up with this ideology. The Jewish rabbis had nothing to do with it, to my knowledge. They had nothing to do with it, okay? To this day, many Jewish Orthodox groups 
are against Zionism, openly, publicly, right? So when you try to play this game, uh, equate Zionism with anti, uh, anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism, if that's the game you're trying to play, don't try. Adnan, it's not going to work. Stop putting words okay. in my mouth. Hello, just like we just, can't, we did can't. Did I ever once, in anything I just say, talk about anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism? Uh, you have accused me of anti-Semitism. But when you were anti-Semitic. Yeah. No, when, often, when, when? Let's just deal, Adnan. We let, let's, let's go back to that let's, question if you Adnan, want. Adnan, let's stick on topic. Instead of what always happens, you leapfrog all over the place like Skippy the kangaroo. Let's stay on subject. The subject at the moment is ISIS and Zionism. Yeah. So let's list the atrocities. And Good. interestingly, interestingly, let's do it. as an example of one of the most barbaric examples of an ideology, he goes to an Islamic ideology. That's interesting that you chose... It's Islamic. not an Islamic ideology. They literally base their, they, you may be through a false interpretation. So do the Zionists. But it's on. So do the Zionists. You literally said the they Zionists. Call it the Jewish, they call it a Jewish state. Okay. They I call it. Adnan, they call I it. I didn't interrupt you. Yeah. And you spoke for about. Sorry, five we're going to keep minutes. it civil. We're going to yeah, keep, let's it, keep civil. it civil. Yes. Good. We're going to have a conversation. So anybody who's ever met a Jew outside of Speaker's Corner will understand that the likelihood is that they have some form of connection to Israel, whether they have family there, whether it, whether it's a religious reason. Like many uh, Muslims have connection Adnan, with Iraq you, and Syria. Adnan, can you keep quiet for two yeah. seconds? Yeah. I stop politely and listen to you insult me throughout oh, the tribe. I apologize. I, please extend. Let, let's keep it short, let's, both, let's, both sides. Let's keep it let's keep it short. You just spoke for 15 minutes, mate. No, no, I, I didn't speak for 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, people will time it. People will time it. People will time it, and then they'll come back to you. I didn't speak for 15 minutes, maybe three minutes. But continue, continue. You finish your point, and I'm going to come back, and we will go like that. We're going to go through a few examples of why Jews are Zionists. The overwhelming majority of religious Jews support the existence of Israel today. In the UK, you have small groups like Nature Carter. There's like eight families in the UK. Satmar in America, slightly larger Hasidic sect. But most Orthodox Jews support Israel. Most religious Jews support Israel. Support and the reason Israel they do that, they, 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 many support Israel, many support two state solution of areas. But let, let me let, can, can I just, sorry, I, let, me, let, let him continue. Let me speak. Jo- Joseph will expose his I mean, own inconsistencies. When, when no the Jew talks, they no, try no, the no, silence. No, 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 don't when do that. The, when the don't brother, do that. When the Muslim no, brother speaks, no, no one interrupts. Did anyone interrupt don't. you from the audience? No. 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 Because did people, did people interrupt me? Did people interrupt me? Yes. So, audience, Continue. I don't interrupt him, you don't interrupt him. Give me the same courtesy. So, Jews pray three times a day to return and rebuild Jerusalem. The end of Jewish festivals, we say, no, so we'll say next year in Jerusalem. When we eat bread, we pray about Israel. Like literally, the entire Jewish religion revolves around Jews being in Israel. Okay. So, the, the main reason that Jews support the existence of Israel today will either be religious or secular. As Adnan mentioned, many of the founding Zionists... Um, gosh, this is impossible. Continue, Joseph, continue. No, no, please don't interrupt him. Don't interrupt him. Let him. I mean, listen, we don't want Joseph to stop. I want him to speak, I can respond to him. Wait, I have, I have plenty of arguments to respond, no problem. Continue, Joseph. Joseph, talking to me, please. Okay, so... Jews suffered in almost every nation we lived in. Okay, Whether, okay. you're opening a new topic now. I'm, let's stick, let's no, stick no, to I'm, Zionism. I'm literally giving the reason why Jews around the world support Israel. Okay, can I respond to what you said already? Very quickly. Okay. I, I, I don't, to be honest. Just point and then I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. Very, very go ahead. Please go ahead. Your, please go ahead. Your co-religion is heckling me. Yeah, no problem. Go. Don't heckle him, please. Don't let Joseph say that we're not going to let him speak. We will let him speak. Okay, thank you. Inshallah. By the way, he's not Jewish. He's a Zionist. <laughs> Continue, Joseph. Why? I mean, this is the park. People are going to... Why are you finding him like an excuse? Continue, man. Okay. So, the only place that Jews have any claim to on this earth is Israel. We have no claim to Uganda. We have no claim to New York. We have no claim to, to London. We became a nation in Israel. We existed as a state for almost 1,500 years. We are indigenous to that land. Now, most Jews believe because of the persecution that we face, we can no longer live outside of Israel. 
We need a place of refuge. Okay. There were many Muslims who saved us. There were many Christians who saved us throughout history. But we cannot depend on others to come to our rescue. We need to be able to defend ourselves. Okay. And for that reason, Jews need a state. And the only place on this earth we have a claim to a state is Israel. Now that should not commit the state of that should not commit the expense of any other people. Okay. Can I respond? Please. We have no problem with the Jewish people living in security. Under security. I mean, when I say insecurity, it sounds like insecurity, right? So under security. We want the Jewish people to be secure. We, when I say we, I talk for the Muslim civilization. Okay? You can call me a self-appointed uh, spokesperson, no problem. I have no problem with that. But I will try to give you the evidence why I believe so. The Muslim civilization protected the Jewish people for over a thousand years. This is why Zionists cannot make stories up and start claiming that the Jewish people were in danger. They were being brutalized around the world. Therefore, we came and we drove out the Palestinians from their homes. We occupied the land forcefully and started killing their women and children and men and elderly. And uh, because we were being oppressed, we were being driven out from everywhere. We're going to do the same to another people. We're going to go and take all that land. Okay, this logic is the Zionist logic. That's why it's evil. That's why it cannot be supported and celebrated. This is why I equate this ideology with ISIS. They are very similar. Zionists and ISIS are very similar. The only difference is the Zionists are very organized. They have a state. They have Western backing. They have very powerful weapons. ISIS doesn't have that. ISIS doesn't have that, right? ISIS doesn't have the channels. ISIS doesn't have the... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. Wait. No, no, you're, no, you're doing the same thing the guy was doing, yeah? Okay. So, let me clarify. We, as Muslims, or the Muslim civilization, never had a problem with the Jewish people. As a whole, as a community, as an entity. For over a thousand years, the Jewish people lived in Muslim lands. In fact, some Jewish scholars, like Jacob Lesnar, they believe and claim that the majority of the Jewish people were living within the domain of Islam for over a thousand years. Why? Why? Why is, is the question? Because they were protected. They, cele they were celebrated. They became uh, very prosperous. They worked on their religion. They were conducting business. They were physicians, scientists, philosophers, poets. And they were the top brass of the Muslim community. In fact, some of them were prime ministers to Muslim sultans. One of them was in Spain, Hazda ibn Shaprut, albeit an exception, no doubt, an exception. But we had examples like that. So when we had Jewish people living with us, what changed in the 1940s all of a sudden? What changed? Why did all the Jewish people started to leave from Morocco to Yemen and they started to quickly rush to Israel? Why? Because of what the Zionist movement was doing in the land of Palestine. You see, ISIS, when they started to do atrocities around the world, what happened to the Muslim community around the world? Muslim community became very agitated. We had to come out and explain that these guys, they have nothing to do with us. They don't represent us. We have a civilization to talk about. We have scientists, philosophers, poets, scholars, people have forgotten them, right? So we had to come out and clarify a position because the, because the, this, this, ideology called ISIS was committing atrocities. Just like that, the Jewish people became very agitated. They, they had a very peaceful situation in the Muslim lands. Suddenly an extremist group, as, uh, an atheistic, secular extremist group called the Zionists come to power in uh, Palestine and they start committing atrocities. They start killing Palestinians. And then the Muslim masses become very agitated too. So the Jewish people fearing for their lives for the first time in the last 1,300 years, for the first time, mass migration of the Jewish people to the land of Palestine. Now show me an example of, I mean, how do I, how do I prove my case? I will ask Joseph, show me an example of Jewish mass migration. Listen to my question carefully. Is everyone listening to me? Is everyone listening to me? My question is very specific. Show me an example of 
a mass migration of the Jewish people from one land to another land due to Muslim persecution. One example in the last 1,300 years. It only happened in the 1940s. And who did it? The Zionists, not the Muslims. Over to you. That was a long time. Nobody interrupted Nobody. him. Nobody hate of him. Hopefully the crowd will give me the same courtesy. I want one person hate of him. So you went through a few points. I captured them just because my memory isn't what it used to be. So the, the first thing I'm going to address is the very first thing he brought up, which is that he wants, Adnan wants Jews to live under Islam and be protected by Islam. You literally on camera was, this is what you said. They, you want Jews to live under us in security with the words you use. You want me to respond? Um, no, no, you can respond when it's your turn. Okay. But that, that's not true. I didn't say that. Okay. Well, you're making, did okay. I say that? Okay. Everyone's did saying I, I didn't say that. Okay. Hmm. You said explicitly on camera, and we can go back, yeah. that Islam protected Jews and offered the Jews... Yeah, that doesn't mean that I want Islam. the Jewish people to live under Islam and protect, okay, how, being protected okay, by so, Islam. Okay, Adnan, again, I didn't interrupt you. Yeah. So, and you, but said, no, but you, think, you said almost everything that left your mouth I disagreed with, and I kept my, I bit my tongue. No, so but, I, but don't misquote me in front of me. Have some courtesy. We can go back and people can watch what was said at the beginning. Maybe I'm slightly mixing up the words you said, but the basic essence was Islam while the Jews were under Islam, were protected, and he wants Jews to yes. go on being protected by Islam, was the basic essence. And from a Jewish perspective, we're like, no thanks, mate. We've had your protection before. Sometimes it was good. Other times, you put us to the sword. Other times, you, you ethnically cleansed us. And I'll give some examples of mass migration, or what we would call ethnic cleansing. So either where we were forced out or we fled. I'll okay. Give examples of I'm, both. Okay. So my no, turn, mass Adnan, migration. Adnan, you said you're going to give me examples. Adnan, 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 Adnan. Mass migration. Adnan, yes. Adnan, hold your tongue. You'll get a turn to speak. You spoke for a long time. I know you like the sound of your voice, but please let me speak. So, Islamic and Jewish history is one of good caliph protected the Jews, bad caliph persecute persecuted the Jews. The first people to make Jews wear yellow clothing to single them out, to persecute them, was actually the Abbasids. The Abbasids persecuted Jews. Continue, I'm not going to... Yeah. The, the, the Almohads persecuted Jews. Hundreds of thousands of Jews fled Al-Andalus when the Almohads, and, and North Africa, when the Almohads seized power. And the Jews fled. They're in, in Yemen, you had examples. In Iraq, you had examples. Omar, Omar himself, ethnically cleansed the Jews of the Hijaz. So Islamic history is one of both good and bad relations with the Jews. Now for us, for the Jewish people, we appreciated when there was a Christian king like Kashmir in, in Poland, or a Muslim ruler, like where the, the, the numerous ruler, Islamic rulers that protected the Jews. We are grateful for that. But what we don't want is to be dependent on the whims of whichever caliph is ruling over the, caliph, the caliphate at that time. Because some of them persecuted us excessively. And so, for the first time in history, Jews have a safe haven. Well, we're not first time in history, for the first time in 2000 years, we have the opportunity to protect ourselves. So historically, if we were persecuted by Muslims, we'd have to either flee to Muslim or Christian countries. Today, we can flee to the Jewish country. And I have complete faith that my brothers in Israel are more likely to protect me than Adnan's brothers in whichever Muslim state we're talking about. Okay. And so... I... Yeah. And, and so... And Israel, but I don't and so... No. Your donkey, your hand more. No, no. I'm, I'm about to speak. I'm about to speak. Why are you asking? Yeah, yeah. I'd... You stop it. Okay, I'm about to speak. It's liar. Okay, he's finished now. Can I speak? Only la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, thank you. So now my response. My response. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. What the hell? If I go there. Please, please ignore. Please ignore. Ignore. Please ignore. Ignore. Okay. Okay. So Joseph, he made uh, many points. What Joseph does in almost every single discussion. We call it, in debating uh, terms, we call it uh, machine gun tactics, okay? What happens is you, you, you basically empty a magazine 
You empty a magazine on your opponent and expect him to respond to you in three minutes right, with all those bullets he has fired. That's why I'm very meticulous in debates. I like to address topics one by one, systematically. Each and every single point he raised can be shredded, dismantled uh, conclusively. For example, I'll give you a few examples he mentioned. Al Mohads. Why do I believe people like Joseph are spin doctors and they are not sincere? He's disingenuous. I'm saying that to his face. I'm saying that to your face. He's dis he's dis because he knows the response. What is the response? Al Mohads, I will tell you, definitely persecuted Muslims, Christians, and Jews. They did not single out the Jewish people. Al Mohads, when they came to power in Spain in the 12th century CE, they persecuted all people in Spain. They went for everyone, right? So what happens? Jewish people, some of them, they start to leave. Now, Joseph tells you half the story, and even that half, partially, not the complete half, partially. Even that half is partial. He focuses on the Jewish people, right? Now, this is why it's so important to know your history, my brothers and sisters, right? So al mohads they persecute almost everyone. They are an extremist group. They have been called so in our history. The Muslim historians are writing, these people had lost the plot. They had lost the plot. Just like Muslim scholars today in the world are saying, ISIS have lost the plot. They, are, they don't represent us. They are your product. They are a product of your war you waged on Iraq. And they are a reaction to your, they, but they have more in common with you those who are fighting ISIS than us, the Muslim uh, community around the world from Morocco to Bangladesh. So what happened with Al-Mohads? They come in, they persecute some Jewish people. The Jewish people, they are persecuting. They leave. He's right. They leave. Now when they leave, where do they go? Where do they go? Guess where do they go? No, 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 no. Where do they go? Who knows? Yeah. Some of them, some of no Morocco. Morocco was. It's a good example. Mo 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 no, Morocco was Syria. under Al Mohads. Syria. They went to Egypt. Thank you. West they went to Egypt. Egypt. Now, who was ruling Egypt? Salahuddin. Salahuddin. Thank you, Joseph. Amazingly, ama wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> now, amazingly, he knows, he knows but doesn't mention it. Doesn't. This is what I call CNN. Fox News, NBC put together in one man. Okay, right? So they deliberately hide this information because it's going to. So what happens to these Jewish people? One of them is their famous rabbi, Musa bin Maimun, Maimonides. He also is one of those Egyptian, uh, Spanish Jews who found refuge in Egypt. Why didn't these Jews go to the north, to the Christian states? Many of them did. Uh, no, they did not. They did not. You don't know. They got banished. They got banished from uh, the English king, Edward I, banished yeah. the entire Jewish community. So did the French king, Philip. Later on, they drove all the Jewish people. Where did they go? Where did they go? They went to the Muslim lands, right? Now, now, now. So what, what Joseph, people like Joseph do? Okay. And then what happens to Maimonides and people like him in Egypt? Are they given uh, the, the brooms and the brushes to go and clean the streets? You bunch of barbarians, you've come from Spain. Actually, because they were so civilized and educated and uh, the elite of the Spanish Muslim society, the Jewish people who were walking around in Islamic dress code with turbans, speaking eloquent Arabic, uttering Arabic poetry, the Jewish rabbis of Spain. What happens to them in Egypt? They are given high posts. In fact, Maimonides himself, who later on lied to the Yemeni Jews about his situation, okay? Uh, who himself was a liar, outright liar. Maimonides, Musa bin Maimun, was a liar. Yeah, I, and and I will show you why he was a liar, okay? There are many, uh, re that's another topic in itself. And they can all watch the debate where I absolutely humiliated, humiliated me, you on that part. like you are today, no problem. Okay, so, so Maimonides, he went to Egypt and he becomes what? The physician of the Sultan, the brother of Salah Din. He becomes his private personal physician. What kind of persecution is this? It's like uh, some Muslims leave Iraq, okay, as refugees. They come to Britain, and then Boris Johnson's uh, Johnson Boris Johnson takes one of them as his private physician. 
We haven't seen that happen to date. We, that hasn't happened to date. All of these Iraqis and Syrian refugees are being basically, you know, you know what, how they're being treated in all these countries uh, at the borders, what's happening to them in Italy and Greece and Poland and Hungary. Go and see these refugees, see what's happening to them, okay? Muslims didn't do that to the Jewish people, okay, wherever they went, right? These Zionists, they have to make up stories for a reason to, to substantiate the evil ideology, to argue that Zionists, not the Zionists, sorry, the Jewish people as a whole, their lives are in danger. Therefore, we need the state of Israel. Okay. We, need, we need to occupy this land and drive off the Palestinians, we... brutally kill them off, okay? Kill the children and women so that we can be protected. This is a lie, the Jewish people. And then what? Last point. So that I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Last point, because I can go on and on and on. Joseph, he threw so many bullets at me that I'm trying to now, you know, deal with the, 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 the fatal ones, you know, the ones that are close to my heart. Okay, the arms, the legs, no problem, I'll just let them go, okay? So, he jumped from the Abbasids to what? What? He jumped, yeah, he jumped from Abbasids to what? Do you remember, are you all listening? To al -Mohads. remember that? You remember that? He mentioned the Abbasids and he hopped few centuries forward to al -Mohads. My question is, why do Zionists have to do that? Why do they jump from centuries to another century, from a dynasty to another dynasty? And what do they point to? Exceptions where some Jewish people did uh, receive maltreatment. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you where there are cases of Jewish people being maltreated due to political and other circumstances, right? Something happened. But the general pattern of the Muslim civilization towards the Jewish people. He talked about Omar, then he went to the Abbasids, and then he went to al mohads This is what they do. If I start doing that about Israel for the last 70 years, Joseph, your hair will become white. You'll become an old man. I think because the, the list, finish talking, because, my hair will become white. Yeah, they're already white. Okay. The list of Israel's atrocities against Palestinians are so long that if I start naming every single person who was killed, okay, uh, we won't finish today, right? Okay, how many people have Israel killed in the last 70 years? Do you know? Can you finish? Do you know? The Baha'is have been killed for 200 years, slaughtered by the Muslims, slaughtered by the fanatical Shias. Let me ask you a question. If no, are you going to argue for him? No. I, I, I would like to. Ask you one if you want to open another debate on the Baha'is, come forward. Okay. I'm, I'm happy. So, so I'm happy to engage we'll with you. Okay, we'll come to Baha'is. Okay, we'll come to Baha'is we'll Baha and any, anyone else in the list? Are, are you, anyone else in the list? We'll come to them, no problem. You, you see, all of these you, all of these things, this propaganda, when I challenge you, when you come and stand next to me, you will see you have no legs to stand on. So are Continue. You okay. So what's really, really rich is Adnan accused me of machine gun tactics. I literally responded to points he'd made. So he said Muslims had protected Jews. So I gave examples of how they hadn't. He said, like, literally, everything you accuse me of, you're guilty of. You went all I'm, over. I'm going to have to you get to my ISIS, phone now. My monotheists, Egevet Teman, Al Mohad, Abad, literally, we went all over the shop, all over the houses. Now it's, you're in for it, Joseph. And so, what I want to do. Now you've done it. So, so just for people's <laughs> reference, now just you've for done people's it. reference, he raised my monotheists. And we've had the reason I laughed at when he now raised you've my monotheists, the reason I laughed at why he mentioned my monotheists. He gave Maimonides as an example of somebody who experienced the benevolence of the Ummah, of the Muslims, who experienced the kindness and the protection of the Muslims. When Maimonides is speaking to his own people in the Igeret Teman, in a letter to the Yemenite Jews, the Jews of Yemen, he explicitly states that no people have persecuted us as much as this nation. No people. He then, he also said that I misrepresented history and that when Mus Jews fled Muslims in Spain, that they fled to other Muslims. I explicitly stated when Jews had no state of their own, when they were persecuted, they had to flee to Christian or Muslim states. It's all on camera. Now, when they... No, you can't. You can wait your turn, sir. And then I can talk to you. But I'm talking to Mr. Rashid at the moment. 
the, I know, but I no one interrupted person. here except my the brother here. Um, now I've lost my chain of thought. Thank you. Um, and that's why we don't need to interrupt. I've completely lost my chain of thought. So I'll bring it back. The reason why it's important to focus on today and the history is that historically, when Jews were persecuted, we would flee to a land and for a few decades, a few centuries, it might be okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then the persecution would increase. I did order this again. No, 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 Another anti Semite right behind me. It's good, yeah. Um, I don't want to just whip it out, yeah. Which one? Are you finished? No, 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 continue. Sorry, sorry, continue. I apologize. That's very impolite of me. Sorry. And so, historically, Jews had nowhere to flee. We had no state. So when the Alma had slaughtered us, some of them flew, fled to Northern Europe. Some of them fled into Fustat, Egypt, into North Africa, the, the parts that weren't occupied by the Almohads, to Iraq. So the Jews fled all over, but there was no Jewish state. So they couldn't flee to other Jews. They either fled to Christians or to Muslims who had person, laws which discriminated them. What Adnan does not talk about is the condition of those Jews that lived in there. He focuses on the Jews that achieved positions of power, the court Jews, who were very well documented. And the ulema were outraged that these Jews held power, positions of influence. And they regularly went up against the different, different caliphs and like rebuked them and, and had scolded them for having Jews in positions of authority. But the reason the Jews were in those authorities is exactly for the reason Adnan said. They were skilled in medicine. Absolutely. They were skilled in collecting taxes because they'd done it for the Christians, they'd done it for the Muslims, and they had built up over many years a skill set which benefited these caliphs. It wasn't benevolence okay. for these Jews. Meanwhile, the majority of Jews who lived under these people were persecuted. Do you know that if your synagogue fell into disrepair, you weren't allowed to rebuild it? A Jew was not allowed to rebuild a synagogue if it fell into disrepair in almost every caliphate that stood. Adnan is giving you the, the rose, the, 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 the absolute perfect example of existence of Jews and Muslims. The reality is the opposite. If you want to know how Jews lived under Islam, you don't listen to Adnan, you listen to the Jews who lived in those times. So if you go to the Cairo Geniza, the Cairo Geniza is the most perfect um, record of what it was like to live as a Jew in these times. Okay. Effectively, Every letter, every book, anything that was written was preserved and put in this archive. And it was found in the 19th century, opened up, and we can read from Jews what it was like to live under Islam. And they don't paint the same picture as Adnan. They talk about the persecution, but the tax has been so high. Too, too many topics, the, the, Joseph, too many topics. Okay, too let's many topics. To Israel and ISIS. Then. Okay, no, 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 no. Have you, get... Also, have you noticed, the minute I, the minute I start talking, he tries, the minute I start defending my case, he tries to shut it down. I'm saying that Jews were persecuted under Islam. He's saying they're not. When I give evidence of this, he says too many let's, topics. Okay, let's, to, to be fair, to be fair, because Joseph is by, well, sorry, sorry, ma'am, sorry, ma'am, ma'am, you were not speaking when he was talking. Ma'am, you were not speaking when he was talking. I, I know you are upset. I know you are upset. There's a Jewish lady from a Muslim country who's upset and he's shutting her down. Okay, wait. We can speak to a Jewish Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I speak? Yes, thank you. Can I speak? Can I respond to his points? Anything we didn't occupy. Okay. We just returned home since when Jerusalem was the capital of any Muslim state except the Jerusalem. Can I respond to his points? What you can't. Now you're not. You're not. I, just, I was telling. I was telling Hecklers to go quiet. Okay. So you be fair and tell the lady to be quiet so that I can respond to your points. She will be quiet. Okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. Then we'll bring you on camera because you're much better than I am. Okay. So just, just for the record, for everyone who's watching who doesn't know this, this lady is. This lady was born in a Muslim country. Which country? I don't know if you'd like me to say. She speaks perfect Arabic. Why not? She's in the in, in the UK now. Okay. She's in. Yeah. She fled persecution in Islam. From when? Islam. When? Oh, no. when? When? Her, when? Her, when? Her, I, I want to know. I want to know. Uh, if I you want to discuss this lady specifically, we can bring her over, start discussing her, okay. and then we, well, then we will you, see why family her family had to flee a Muslim country and when. What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay. 
you, when you, when you can I respond? Can you can you tell the lady okay. to, to be to be silent so that I can respond to your points? Do you want me to respond? Yes. Sir. Yeah. So can you ask her to be silent? Like I was telling the Muslims to be quiet. Okay. I'll finish my just finish my point. And okay. Then we get on to yours. So, so so no, you're gonna you're not gonna make any more points because I need to respond to everything you said. Okay. Maimonides. He mentioned Maimonides. Firstly, firstly, a lot of the Jewish uh, migrants to Israel. For the last 70 years, they have been brainwashed systematically by the state into hating Islam, Muslims, and the Muslim civilization. You know, if you if you if you go to the just like just like the Shia people, from a very young age, they are conditioned to hate the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, there are many examples. Many examples I can give. Okay, when you condition children from a very young age, it's very difficult to to get them to realize otherwise okay my job here is as hard as it is is to clarify what the reality is joseph people like him i have no respect for him even though i treat him respectfully but i'm making it very clear I, no 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 because i believe he's he's, he's actually wait brother brother i i'm not attacking him am i i'm not attacking him okay I, I don't respect propagandists and, and liars and disingenuous people. I don't like disingenuous people. I don't like disingenuous people. So let me clarify. Now you're attacking me from the sides. Don't do that. Okay. So Maimonides, Joseph, Joseph, my, what? Are you worried that? Are you worried about? Are you worried about what I'm gonna say? Then be silent, please. please respectfully, please be silent. Okay. Okay, Maimonides. Joseph started with Maimonides. He wrote a letter to the Yemeni Jews. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. No, then, then, then you responded, and and then you responded with more. Then you responded with more partial history, more partial history, and that's why I have to expose you that you, when you tell history, uh, you and your Zionist brothers, when they tell history, they tell history partially. Okay, some have now realized that the world is not sleeping anymore. There are scholars who will expose us, and now they are coming out slowly. They are Zionist scholars, and they are speaking the truth. Bernard Lewis, for example, Zionist, died over 90 years old. Considered to be, please, 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 primary sources. Okay, so why is this happening, Joseph, when I'm speaking? When I'm speaking, why is this happening? I have. You were very upset. When Muslims are heckling you, you were very upset. Yes, yes, yeah. So, so, so now, just as you expected me to speak to the Muslims, speak to the, the, the lady. Okay, so, so Maimonides was a Jewish rabbi of the topmost uh, status in the Jewish people, among the Jewish people in Spain. And then he migrated to Egypt. He grew up in Egypt. He grew older in Egypt, right? He became the private physician to Sultan. So what happens when, now this is the full story. What happens, the Jewish people of Yemen write a letter to him. About what? About what? That we are about to become Muslims. Are you listening, everyone? Yes. Is everyone listening? Yes. This is the context with which my friend probably doesn't know. And if he knows, then he didn't tell you. And ask him why he didn't tell you this. Just like the Al Mohads. He told you the Jewish people were driven out, didn't tell you where they went. And when I told you where they went and gave you an example, he attacked that example. And he said, I mentioned it. And then when he attacked the example, even then he gave you partial history. He said, Maimonides in a, light, uh, in a letter painted a very grim picture of his experience under Islam. And he's right. Guess what? He's right. This is why I said earlier, this is why earlier I said Maimonides, Maimonides was a liar of, the, of top class. For example, let me give you an example. Maimonides, who is he? Who is he? He is, no, Musa bin Maimun, but who is he serving? Who is he serving? Who is he serving? Wait, wait, wait. Who is he serving in Egypt? Sorry? He is the private physician of the Sultan. Wait, 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 wait. He was the private physician of the Sultan. His private doctor. Now, a private doctor for the Sultan, do you think is that a low position or it's a high position in the state? 
high or low? High or low? Private physician to the Sultan. You have the ear of the Sultan. You can tell him what you want. You can get him to do what you want, right? Now Maimonides, when he receives a letter from Yemeni Jews, what are they asking him? Because he's an authority among the Jewish people. They ask him, we are considering converting to Islam, the Jewish community of Yemen. Why? Because these prophecies in the Old Testament, they list them down. Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. Uh, Deuteronomy 18. Deuteronomy 33.2. Okay. Then other prophecies in the Old Testament, a list. They present this list to Maimonides and they ask him, Oh Rabbi, what is our response to the Muslims on these prophecies? Because they are claiming that Muhammad, their prophet, the Arabian prophet, is foretold in these passages. And we are on the verge of converting to Islam. And some of them are learned Jews in Yemen. So they write to the most learned man in the Jewish world, Maimonides. So what does Maimonides do? In response, now he's a Jewish rabbi. He's the shepherd of the flock. What do you think he's going to do in the letter? Is he going to tell them, go ahead, very well done, go and convert to Islam? Or is he going to dissuade them? Which one is it? Which one is it? If some Muslims come to me, I'm, I'm, I'm telling I'm my example, person. I'm no Maimonides, no Imam, no scholar. If they come to me, 10 Muslims here, and they say, you know what, we're having doubts. We want to convert to Christianity. They have shown us how true Christianity is, for example. What am I going to do? As a Muslim die, as a Muslim propagandist, let's say, if he wants to call me that, okay, <laughs> I'll do it for him, right? What do you expect me to do? Tell them, well done, go ahead, baptize yourselves and become Christians. Or I'm going to dissuade them. I'm going to dissuade them. Maimonides to dissuade this Jewish community of Yemen, he tells them all lies. We suffered under these people. They are the worst people in the world. They put, and while he's, when is he writing this? While he is the private physician to the Sultan. He's a private doctor to the Sultan, he's writing this. And then he responds to these passages. All com complete spins. Just a quick question, and you don't need to go further. Have you read the letter in detail, all of it? All of it. Have you read his responses to the passages of the Old Testament? Yes, I've yes? read the letter, yes. So he knows about the letter, and he knows why it was written. It was written to dissuade the Jewish community of Yemen from Islam. And for that reason, he did a good job, but he was a liar. He lied to his people. He misrepresented the situation. Now, now to Cairo Geniza, the Cairo Geniza record. Amazingly, Joseph, I'm sure he doesn't know who studied it. He doesn't know. Shechter. He mentioned it. Shechter's the main. Who? Shechter. Rabbi Shechter is the main guy. No, academically, uh, yes, who published? Yes, it's Sultan Shechter. S.D. Goiton. Yes, Goiton. Uh, no, no, no. Goiton, Goiton is the one who published them from the University of Pennsylvania, yeah. right? Okay, I, I have the entire set in my private library. Before you know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Have you, have you, have you been seeing? There's literally thousands and thousands of fragments, and that, to this day they're still being translated. So when he tells you he's got the set, there is no set. He's lying. Okay, are you done? Yes. Which set am I talking about? I don't you, you said you've got the entire set so, of no, Cairo Geniza. No, no. <laughs> he doesn't know what set I'm talking about and he's calling me a liar. So this is what you call a liar, okay? When you don't know what you're doing and then you start accusing what set am I talking about? You tell me. You said I, I, I just mentioned, you don't know. That's what I'm saying. I just mentioned the name. S. D. Goiton. Do you know the name? Yes. Okay. So do you know what set I'm talking about now? So do you do you know what set I'm talking? Tell me, tell me. Adam. So you don't know. Say I don't know. Tell me. Tell okay. Me. So don't mention things you haven't even know. looked. Okay. Literally, wait. Wait. I don't wait. Know what you're talking okay. about? Okay. So, exactly. Yeah. That's my point. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the you don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the set. Okay. You would know what I'm talking about if you knew what I'm talking about. Tell me. Because you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. So by that virtue, Joseph, he likes to throw things thinking Muslims, these ignorant, jail Muslims, they don't know their history, right? S.T. Goitin is a Zionist scholar who studied the Cairo Geniza records found in Cairo, in Egypt. Okay. And he did a commentary, a partial commentary, and he published six volumes, if I'm not mistaken in yellow bindings. I have them at home in my personal library. Okay, so Joseph doesn't know what he's talking about. And firstly, why would we accept the study of a Zionist scholar on a record 
which was found in a Muslim country, and it hasn't been studied by other academics to date. Why would we? Why, if, if an ISIS scholar comes to me, Abu Bakr Baghdadi, let's say, he sanctions a study, he patronizes a study, go and study a record, and these ISIS people publish this record with flashy volumes, flashy titles. Am I to believe that? No, no, to us. To us, anything these Zionists... Interpretation. No, 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 no. Well, okay, okay, okay. Now, 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 now. So the point is, ladies and gentlemen, he mentions exceptions from the Muslim land. I am going to now, he said, do you remember what he said? That speak to the Jewish people who lived under Islam. Yes? Yes. Yes. Did he say that? Yes. Yes. Yeah? yeah, to know the persecution. Yes, I'm going to now quote some Jewish people who lived under Islam. Rabbis. And that okay, wait, 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 so wait, 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 wait. My time. My time, my time. I mean, you have spoken my time. Long my long time. Long time. Adnan, like literally, I had a full head of hair before. In 1420. In 1420. Rabbi Yitzhak. Rabbi Yitzhak Safati wrote a letter to his persecuted German brothers from the Ottoman Turkish territory. Listen now. I've never heard of him. He's a rabbi. Go and check. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting him. He's not a major figure. Wait, 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 wait. Is he a fringe figure? He's a rabbi. He's a random person. He's a rabbi. He's a rabbi. Okay, he's a rabbi. I know it's gonna hurt you. It's antiseptic. You know what antiseptic is? Antiseptic. Okay, finish right. Okay, what you're gonna hear now is going to shock you. Not him, because he knows a lot of this stuff. That's why I call him Fox News, NBC, CNN put together. Okay. Rabbi wrote to his, uh, writes to his brothers in Germany who are being persecuted by German authorities, Jewish people, in 1420. He writes, inviting them to join him in prosperous and tolerant Islamic lands. What do you say? And I quote, this is what Rabbi wrote. Your cries and laments have reached us. We have been told of all the sorrows and persecutions which you suffer in German lands. Listen, my brothers. If you knew even the tenth of what God has blessed us with in this land, you would give heed to no further difficulties. You would embark at once to us. Here the Jew is not compelled. Here the Jew, you don't like it, do you? You don't like it. Do you want to hear it? This is one of your rabbis talking. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this. Here the Jew is not compelled to wear a yellow hat. You remember yellow clothes and yellow hat? So, so Joseph, that's why, hence NBC, Fox, CNN put together, right? Either he doesn't know this stuff, and if he knows this stuff, then he's an outclass liar, okay? Here the Jew is not compelled to wear a yellow hat as a badge of shame. You will be free of your enemies. Here you will find peace, Rabbi. Yitzhak. Okay, move on. Move on. Oh no, 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 no. He truly, brother. Do you not like? Do you not like? Do you not like? Okay. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't finished. I'm not 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 finished. The point is, Joseph. I would have read it. Joseph. Joseph. I have. I have not finished. Look at this. Three people attacking me. This lady. This gentleman. And, and Joseph, they're not, they're not allowing me to speak. They will not, they don't like this information. The problem is in the information. It's not what I'm saying. The problem is in the info, is, is because, because this guy is being exposed. They don't like that. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Have, have the courtesy. Allow me my freedom of speech. Allow me my freedom of speech. Okay. The Italian rabbi, an Italian rabbi, Obadia Yare, Who's, who, is, who are you even quoting now? My, uh, the, to bring the... Who look, are you quoting? Okay. Can I, can I finish? Tell us who you're quoting. Okay. I quoted sources in a previous debate with Joseph. I quoted sources in a previous debate with Joseph. 
and Joseph challenged me on Twitter. Joseph went on a victory parade on Twitter and he said, Adnan Rashid is quoting sources that don't exist. And he is he's, he's claiming things that don't exist. So he's a liar on Twitter. Really? Okay. So what happens? He triggers Adnan Rashid, which is myself. So I go on my Twitter. I take all those quotes and I start posting them. Joseph goes dumbstruck, completely silent, gone. And then when he comes back, he comes up with such lame things that people are actually laughing at him. That what the hell is wrong with you people? Why can't you see black and white and admit it? That if someone shows you the sun, why can't? So now, now I'm going to do the same thing today. Joseph is trying to discredit these sources. I'm quoting rabbis, rabbis, learned Jewish men living in these lands. So Italian rabbi Obadia Jare da Bertinoro traveled to Jerusalem in 1486 wrote a letter to his father telling him about the country and his people. A rabbi traveling through Jerusalem in the 15th century when it's being ruled by who? The Muslims, right? The Jews are not persecuted by the Arabs in these parts. I'm quoting. I have, I have traveled through the country in its length and breadth and none of them has put an obstacle in my way. They are very kind to me. Wait, they are very kind to... What's your problem? What's your problem? Why should? Why? I am not debating you. I am not debating you. I'm debating him. Can you tell it to me? No, you're no, 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 why are you so triggered? Why are you so triggered? Why are you so triggered? Am I? I'm not debating you, am I? Why do I have to respond to you? I'm not. You're from the crowd. I'm not debating the crowd. I cannot debate all these people. I am only. I am only talking to one person. That's why I request from you that if you want to talk to me, you will definitely be given a chance. We'll talk to you. So let me let me finish my point, please. Let me please, because you're you're actually. Why are you suppressing my voice? Why do you not want me to speak? Why is this so painful? This is painful. No, this is painful. She's she's taking all your time police. i'm not going to stop you're taking my time no, no her mate you, no, you, you can you stop please. you when you were being heckled I'm not, literally i made one ladies and gentlemen like when you joseph when joseph was being heckled he had a problem with it he came straight to me oh now i start speaking and these muslims are heckling me i told those muslims to stop you are all witnesses joseph for some reason is not talking to the lady can you tell her to be quiet she's she's jeopardizing the debate please be quiet let me just finish let me finish and then and then we'll bring it back to Israel today, which is what she's asking for. Yeah. So I'm going to respond to you just for the benefit of the camera. He's all of this. Sources. I'm going to bring my sources, and then we're going to back, going to go back to what the debate's supposed to be about, okay. which is Israel. Okay. Every time he goes okay. to the same talking point. Okay. We've literally had what, this debate what, five what, times. What am I doing this? What, why am because I doing you've this? Got the same talking point. You've got Can you tell her to, to be say. quiet? Can you tell the lady to be she quiet? Being quiet? Okay. I will. I will not speak until she goes quiet. I will not speak yeah, until she's, she's quiet. Talking. No, she's talking. But she's talking to someone else. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do this. I, I can't stop someone talking to someone else. No, you were asking I, me to do it to Muslims. No, she's talking. No, to you me. were asking me to do it to Muslims. Someone was okay, and when, when a Jewish a lady is screaming at me, you, you cannot me stop her. A fight on screen. Okay. Zionists cannot suppress our voices. Literally, Adnan, no one is suppressing your voice. You haven't shut okay. up. Mate. Okay. Okay. So now. Coming back to why am I reading these quotes? Who is going to tell me why am I reading these quotes? Because Joseph himself, during his time, said, let's go to the Jewish people and talk to them. Ask them how they lived under Islam and what they felt about it. I'm responding directly to one of the points he raised, which is a fair point. So here a Jewish rabbi saying that they are very kind to strangers. Particularly, brother, brother, take the lady away. Take the lady away, please, and talk to brother, brother, brother. I'm trying to read. Sorry, sorry. This lady has she's been trying to disrupt the debate for a long time. So, so don't speak, don't engage with her, please. Don't engage with her. The way they they are very kind to strangers, particularly to anyone who does not know the language, and if they see many Jews together, they are not annoyed by it. In my opinion, an intelligent man versed in political science might easily raise himself to be a chief 
of the Jews as well as of the Arabs among them. Okay, it doesn't stop there. No, on, one more. One more. Come one more. On, mate. One more. I haven't spoke for One more. Hour, mate. One more. One more. I, one more. Is so, it so, or is it so, debate? wait, wait, wait. One are we debating no, no, wait. or are you talking to yourself? Just finishing right now. Okay. One more quote. This okay. Is no, 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 wait. So now what Joseph might do, he might come back. Okay, and he might say so he might say that these are exceptional exceptional uh, testimonies, and these Jewish rabbis they had their personal experiences. Though they don't represent the overwhelming majority of the Jewish people and their views. Okay, for that, for that, what do we do? We go to secondary sources, modern scholarship, recent scholars who have studied all of these primary sources primary testimonies of the Jewish people and these Jewish scholars will tell you what happened to the Jewish people in these times and they will give you the general picture Adnan. not Zionist Adnan. not well, Zionist the secondary sources it's oh, wait. To okay wait 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 wait, 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 wait. if you're going to stop me not, if, okay. stop you. okay okay uh, if you are uh, okay okay wait I literally you've been on 20 minutes okay mate. because I've been I'm being interrupted I, I could have finished yes, I could have finished I'm Just being interrupted I'm, Adnan, I'm, Adnan, I'm going to walk okay. away unless you okay 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 if you want to walk away no problem this is you're going to walk away no problem this I'm going to have to finish. Don't throw, don't throw stones at me this and expect ridiculous. me to take it. No, Adnan, I'm going to throw I back. I'm going to throw back rocks. I spoke three to five <laughs> minutes. Of wait, wait, You're speaking wait, for like wait. wait. Minutes. It's very painful, bro. It's painful for everyone it's else. It's very painful. painful. Okay, okay. Let me, let me finishing. Up. If you let me finish, I would have finished by finish, now. Please, finish, please, yeah. finish. That's all we want yeah. you to do, mate. Finish, finish your course. Finish your. Finish. Finish your course of squeezing me. Finish, finish your course of squeezing. Okay, so Zion Zohar, a Jewish scholar from the US, a recent scholar. I read some primary sources to you, rabbis and their testimonies. Why did I read them? So that you, you can actually hear it from the horse's mouth, as they say, yeah? Eyewitnesses who saw and they described. But then people like this, Zionist propagandists, they come back and say, oh, these are exceptional testimonies. They don't matter. The overwhelming experience of the Jewish people, the norm, you know, the, the norm wasn't this. These are exceptions. The norm. So the norm, for the norm, we have a rule in academia. We go to secondary sources. We go to modern scholars who have studied these ideas, these quotes, and then they give their conclusions. They give their conclusions. They tell you what was the norm. This was the norm. Zion Zohar, a Jewish historian, He's not a Muslim historian, a Jewish historian. He writes, he writes in his book titled A History of Sephardic and Mitzrahi Jewry. On page number eight and nine, he states, thus, when Muslims crossed the Straits of Gibraltar from North Africa in 711 CE and invaded the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain, Jews welcomed them as liberators from Christian persecution. Born during this era of Islamic rule, the famous golden age of Spanish Jewry, circa 900 to 1200, 300 years. A Jewish historian is saying these 300 years, there were, or this was the golden age of the Jewish people. He produced such luminaries as statesman and diplomat Hazda ibn Shaprut, Vizier and Army Commander. Shmuel Hanagid or Samuel Hanagid, poet philosophers like Solomon Ibn Gabriel and Judah Halavi. And at the, at the apex of all of them was Moses bin Maimun, also known among the Spaniards as Maimonides. Okay, I will stop here because now Joseph, before he has a heart attack, uh, listening to all this, uh, I will stop and I will let him respond. And when he finishes, I will come back with more medicine. This time, this will be surgery. Okay, what I just gave you was the an anesthesia, right? To, you have to put it. it. But, put but, everyone but, to sleep. But, what, right. wait, wait, wait. but when I come back, will be the surgery itself, okay? Okay. Go on. Adnan was very gracious in admitting that he put everyone to sleep with his two-hour diatribe. Every Zionist to so, sleep, yeah. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> For everyone's sake, I'm going to race through a few quotes from the Cairo Geniza. I'm going to race through a few Islamic quotes. I'm going to race through a few examples of what it was actually like to live as a Jew under Islam. So, then. can we time and it now? Atlan, stop how, how, talking, uh, mate. How, how long? How mate, long are we doing stop this? Stop 
talking. Let's go, well, you had about three minutes. Let's, let's do three minutes, three minutes. No, let's do. We're Otherwise, we're going to... Give him five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes no problem. No, you, give him five minutes, then three minutes, no, three minutes. we're doing 20 minutes of me because you just spoke for half an hour. And then we can go three minutes. No, 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 wait, wait. And then, and I then stop. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, I'm stop. not shutting up. No, five minutes. Five minutes for him. And then three minutes, three minutes. Because like this, we're going to continue for hours upon hours. Look at the count. Everyone in the comment. Five minutes. Everyone in the Five minutes. Everyone in the comments. I want you. Five minutes. Five minutes. Everyone in the comments. I. Everyone in the comments. I want you to watch back. If you're watching this, start timing how long he spoke for and how long I spoke for, and then listen to the audacity of this clown say that I'm going to speak for five minutes after you've just spoke for 20 minutes and bought everyone. Let, let people. The entire crowd has changed. Because let let people so decide long. who's a clown here. Let people yeah, decide. Please. So okay. now what we're going to do, we're going to. You calling me a clown doesn't make me a clown, does it? I'm the I'm one not, coming out with sources. None. I'm the one coming Adnan, out with sources. Shut up, five minutes. Adnan, shut five minutes. Up. Five, minutes. five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. We're gonna we're gonna moderate Adnan, this debate. Adnan, five minutes. Adnan, five minutes. No, it's not. I'll stop talking when I want to stop. Five talking. minutes. No, I'll stop talking when I want to stop. Okay. Just like you okay. Did. Okay. Wait. 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 Just like because you did, this is this is a crybaby. So he's gonna go later on and cry about it. So I'm gonna let him go on. I'm gonna let him go on. And then next time we're gonna do three minutes. Is fine. Is that fine? Okay. Good. Let go on, crybaby. Notice. Notice. Notice how he can't. And notice how. How this lady my will time, not talk now when my, he talks. My time Notice time. how she will go quiet. Notice how she will go quiet. Start talking. Notice how she will go quiet. I feel sorry for Adnan's wives. I really do. I really wives. Do. Yeah, wives. I'm sure you have a whole harem. Um, Adnan, I feel sorry. You think I have a harem? You think I have a harem? I'm sure you do. I feel sorry for each and every one of them oh, because, my no, goodness, no they need to have good ears to listen because you do not stop talking. You're 20 minutes starting even, now. Even when you're, oh, time, you're 20 minutes. If you have 20 minutes to talk, no problem. He can't even let me speak. I can't, I can't even make the joke about his wife. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, you're starting now. Are you going to talk now? Yes. I'm talking, the lady, I'm talking, by the way, I'm, I'm asking this lady I'm behind the camera who's been making noise, me, who's I'm been making noise lying. when I was speaking, right? Now watch, she will not speak now. For 20 minutes, she will not speak. Watch. Go on. Notice, notice how's my time, and he's done more time speaking than me. Go on, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Can you, can you continue speaking? Okay. Continue speaking, please. Let's see what he's saying. Can, so, can you continue same. speaking in his time? Can you make that noise you were making at my time some, when he's speaking? Some examples of what it was actually like to live as an ordinary Jew, not from some cherry-picked examples of history that back up his argument, which actually misrepresent what the text says. It's amazing when you go to the text, he will say things like, it was that the, the, they said, the, 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 what was the like, word you used precisely? Something like, the Jews that said it was beautiful to live under, I can't even remember the words, how, the protection that they offered. And when I went to the sources, it wasn't talking about Muslims, it was talking about Gentiles, non-Jews in general. But anyway, I'm going to get to the actual... Not my Jews. time, so I will respond. Okay, okay. I will respond. So here's some examples of the quotes from the Geniza. And my, this is from the Cairo Geniza. This is... Um, so let's go. A man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to pay the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, one of the descendants of Maimonides, uh, the son of Maimonides, sorry, um, for help. Jo Joseph. I, Adnan, sorry, let me sorry, speak. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I have a question. I have a quick question. No. Why is she not no. speaking now? Adnan, she is speaking now. And stop touching me, Adnan. I'm not your wife. <laughs> Stop manhandling me. Uh, it's, it's halal for Muslim men to touch other <laughs> m other human beings I don't like other than their wives. Stroke my arm. I don't like it. Mommy will smack you soon. I'm going to touch you with a cold bottle. <laughs> with your miswa. Um, a man from Alexandria was forced to flee from the city because he was unable to play the jizya for his young boy. He implored Abraham ibn Moshe Maimon, Maimonides' son, for help, um, stating that he had been unsuccessful in obtaining any work, although he was willing to work for only one silver dirham daily as a wage. So Imam was forced to flee because he couldn't pay the tax. One man. Umar II forbade the dimmer to enter a bathhouse on Friday. Oh, sorry, that's, that's I'll come back to those. 15,000 gold coins, and uh, this is so charging the community in Jerusalem, I believe. 15,000 gold coins until after that, some 6,000 fell on the Jews of Jerusalem. And we gave them 2,500 gold coins until we were out of everything we had. Empty, naked, sad and poor. Nothing remained to a man in his house. Even the dress for himself 
houseware. Some of us mortgaged their houses with interest in order to pay, and some of them sold them completely. Many, does this, this, many, many of this was their suffering. Another one from the Geniza. The condition in Jerusalem is torturous and breaks everybody, and the burden is too heavy to bear. The tax of captivity and the compulsion of the ledgers, which is worse than anything. Literally, Adnan will tell you that it was great living as a Jew. When you read what the communities in Jerusalem, when you read what the communities in Fustat, when you read what the communities in all of these places were saying, when it's recorded in their Geniza, in the Geniza, he claims to have. Is the time, is the time there? Adnan. No, no, not that time. The theology of these yes, courts. Yes, that was 1029. So this is all there, the 11th century. All from the 11th century. No, so some of the, the, those. So some can you can you give me the chronology so, as well? So yeah, those. those that's last, very relevant. When are these courts? Actually, Cairo Geniza has documents for 1,000 so, years. So Maimonides was the 13th century. So his son, that was the 1200s. The, the one, the, the last two I read were the 11th century. So we've just got two centuries of the time that Adnan is saying is the golden era for Muslim, for Jews, or just immediately after that. In He's Spain. Saying, this is Salahuddin. This is the time of Salahuddin and his descendants. This is in Fustat. This is in Alexandria. This is in Egypt. So, so to go on, to go on. So what Adnan doesn't mention is what it was actually like to live as a Jew. So now I'm going to go to Muslim sources. Muslim sources. So, when it comes to synagogue, we will neither erect... Which, which Muslim source is this? So this is the Pact of Omar and then all the, the scholars afterwards on the Pact of Omar. And what was the Tabari in various places, uh, in various uh, people. Okay, where... Adnan! No, 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 no. Uh, you, I didn't interrupt you. You asked, you asked me about the rabbis. Remember? remember? I was I reading the, was. I yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm likewise, you I'm not stopping you. I'm not interjecting. I'm asking for you to clarify okay, what, what so the author. This, yeah. this is the pact of Omar, and then we'll go to what which is a forgery. Okay, so um, it's a forgery, by okay, the way. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So read it. Read it. No problem. I just want to clarify for everyone. It's a forgery. It the pact forgery of Omar is a forgery. With almost every caliphate in force. So Adnan today in Speaker's Corner. Is saying it's a forgery, yet almost every caliphate. You're gonna to have to prove that. You're gonna have to prove that every caliphate. Uh, I said, did you hear that? Every, every, E V E R Y with capitals. Every caliphate okay. imposed it. Adnan. So now you're gonna have to show us how. Adnan. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Your time, your time. Just shh, shh. I'm waiting. Every now. Adnan. I wanna see every. Adnan, stop talking. It's not so, your So turn. it's not every, right? Clearly, it's not every. Know, have you, have right. you noticed how yeah. terrified he is of letting it I am so terrified that I want to I wanna hear Adnan, now about stop every caliphate. Talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm waiting. 20 minutes more. We 20. Bring every, every caliphate. Adnan, you had your turn. I'm not your wife. You don't rule over me. It's my turn to speak. I don't, rule, I don't rule over my wife. I don't rule over my wife. We will She's be. not my slave. Th you know thanks to about, Allah, thanks to Islam, thanks to Islam, you know thanks to slavery. Islam. You want to talk about what happens, we what happens, what happens? We you want to talk about wives? Erect. You want to talk about wives? We will neither erect like in everything. I don't know what you're all about. Okay, this is Omar the second, not Omar the first. I'll just get... So basically, the Pact of Omar says that Jews and Christians can't read their build, rebuild their buildings that they fall into disrepair. Adnan thinks it's a forgery. That's fine. Adnan's entitled to his opinion. I will court scholarship. Abu Yusuf. Who is Abu Yusuf? Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. I know who he is. I, I know you know who he is. That's so who's, you tell me who is Abu Yusuf. I told you Maimonides, right? So, I told you Maimonides. I quote the source and I give you an introduction. Okay. Who is Abu Yusuf? Who is Abu Yusuf? So Abu Yusuf. This is this is Fox News, NBC, and CNN put together, reading okay, from Adnan, Google. Adnan, Adnan, let me. Speak. Abu Yusuf. Adnan, let me speak. Abu Yusuf. Have you Abu Yusuf. Notice how he spoke for an hour, and I didn't interrupt him. Every time I make a comment, he heckles. He talks. Adnan. Sorry. Let me speak. So. Under Islam, under most of the caliphates, Jews were not allowed to rebuild their synagogues. I'm now going to bring examples from history of that. Yeah. So. This is Omar the second. This is our eighth century. Do not destroy any Jewish or Christian house of worship. Did you hear that? Yeah. Adnan, stop talking, mate. I did not interrupt you. We got to talk. Not about even the sanctuaries of fire worship. Why are you so quiet? You look so beautiful when you're quiet. You look so beautiful Adnan, when you're Adnan, quiet. I wish you farewell, mate. I'm not going to do it. Sorry, sir. Continue. No, Joseph. Continue. Let Adnan answer me, please. 
Let him answer. I've triggered her again. <laughs> I've triggered her again. <laughs> Your time. Okay. He did not answer. I want to ask when. No, I want him to continue. Jerusalem, you answer me. I will answer. I will answer. When was Jerusalem to any Arab country except to the Jewish people? When was Jerusalem? It's a capital yeah. of any Arab country except the Jewish people. I will answer the question later on. Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's because this is time. Because do you want me to answer her? Yes, um, yes, answer. Just because then I think she'll stop. No, she'll let us speak. So just like, okay, Jerusalem, Jerusalem has it's been okay. When you say a capital, yes, a you capital. mean a capital of a Muslim dynasty? Yes, okay. It was, uh, um, we, we, it was, uh, we, 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 yeah, we, we, we've had many Palestinian dynasties. Was that to do with Palestinian? No, but was a state. I can I? No, you're not letting me answer the question. No, I want to answer you when you mislead people. You say Palestinian. Can I answer the question? Okay, answer me. Oh, can I answer? Palestinian state. Who was the last president? Who was Answer. the who was the last president of what? Was the Palestinian state you're talking about? When was Palestinian sovereignty? Never. Never. Okay. Never. Okay. So can I answer? <laughs> I will I will I will ask you to read a book written by a Jewish scholar. I don't want to read. I cannot read. I want you to answer. Me. Okay. Answer. I will give you two. I will I'm answering. Can I, can you let me finish? Can you, Tfaddal, so let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying Tfaddal, but you're not letting me, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay. I will invite you to read two books, okay? Two books, the answer is there. History of Jerusalem by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yeah, let, let, let me finish, let me finish. Karen Armstrong, History of Jerusalem, and another by a Jewish scholar, History of Palestine by a Jewish scholar. Okay, it's published by Cambridge University Press and it covers the entire Islamic period. Okay, you will see the importance Palestine in general. In, let me, please. Please enlighten me. Okay, please. Please enlighten me okay. about the last president of Palestine, so called Palestine. I, 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 don't, I, don't accept, I don't accept this leadership to be proper leadership of the Palestinians. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not sincere question. with the people. Continue. Okay. So mm. okay. Back there. Now let me finish as well. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I want you to enlighten me. You, read you want to be enlightened? What? You want to be enlightened? No, I, I know a lot of things. But, but do you want me to enlighten you? Then you have to let me enlighten you. No, I want. I don't. Can you shut up and let him answer? No, no, no. Don't be rude. I want you to answer. She's elderly. We have to respect her. Are you talking about us occupier? When it was the Muslim come from Algeria, you occupied the Middle East. You called it Fatuhat. Your occupation. You're right. Fituhat. Yeah, we you're right. Return to our land. Allazi katab Allah lana. Ikhlu al ard allazi katab Allah lana. Okay, no problem. Is our. Okay. So don't talk no, about Zionism. Right. Okay. Shit. Is our. Okay, no problem. Thank you. I will let you speak now. You've said what you wanted to. Thank you. Thank you. Now, over to you, Joseph. Oh, your your 30 40 minutes go on the timer the timer has gone our timer has run away our moder where is mo the moderator the moderator has given up okay joseph it's recording the sound is working i can see it leave it alone and come in finish your go because you're running out of evidence i can see it i can see it the, the, you only got one or two lines left now yeah. no problem google Google lines. Adnan, scary, so I'm going to speak now. Adnan tried to present. Adnan tried to present a history of Jews under Islam, where Jews occupy, occupied high positions. They were a protected people, and they did not suffer persecution. That is a lie. And he knows it's a lie because he's read the sources I'm about to bring. I know you've read the Bari. I know you've read the Bari many times because you've quoted it to me. So I'm waiting. So this is Tabari. So he mentioned a rabbi who nobody's heard of. 
saying that Jews didn't have to wear distinctive clothing under the Ottomans in that year. <laughs> this is now Tabari. Okay. And this is in the year 853. Please do quote. But I was talking about the 15th century. When did Tabari live? I, so, uh, I'm not sure. You tell me when. So you don't know. I don't know. So, so how is Adnan? Tab Adnan, can yeah. I just can I make? A I want you to read, Joseph. I want you to read. Me... But how is Tabari relevant to my quote? My quote is from the 15th century. Yeah, later, after Tabari, yeah. How how Much later. how many years? I'd imagine uh, maybe. The, uh, 15th century, 400, 600 years? More than that. More, so, more, more, years. more, more than that. So, okay. so uh, yeah, yeah. So, Tabari Ta would have been 800. Ta Tabari was alive in the, t uh, in, the, in the 10th century. 10th Tabari century. was alive in the 10th century. And we're talking about 500 years difference. So, I said so, so, you're making something relevant. You said it was the 15th century. Yeah. 500 years. So between Tabari and the court. Years. Yeah, between Tabari and the court, I read. Yeah. It means 1400. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so 400 years, that's fine. Um, in this year, Al Mutawakil ordered, and this is the year 853, that the dimmer, the dimmies affixed two yellow sleeves to their outer clothes. So, one of the first people to make Jews wear distinctive clothing wasn't the Nazis with the yellow star, it was the Abbasids with the yellow sleeve. In this, and this is still Tabari, and this is now the year 853. In this year, the same, the same caliph, al Mutawakil, ordered that churches and synagogues newly built under Islam be destroyed. So he, the caliph declared that Jewish synagogues should be destroyed. In, again, this is in the year 1419. 1490. Sorry, sorry, 8543, sorry. Sorry. 853, sorry, still twice. The, the page is 1419, sorry. Um, he ordered that they restrict their, them so that Jews restrict their mounts to mules and donkeys and avoid riding pack horses. So under the Abbasids, Jews weren't even allowed to ride horses. They had to humble themselves and ride donkeys. Um, employ, this is a really interesting thing. Adnan talks about how Jews had these grand positions in Muslim society. What he misses out is why. First, they were the only ones that could do that. And the huge opposition that came from the scholars, from the ulema, to that. So I'm now going to read it from, uh, again. Um, this is now from a modern historian, Moshe Gil, Harun al Yashid. Rashid, Al-Mamun and um, Muqtadir ruled that Jews, Christians should not be employed in public office except for physicians and money changers. So I'm going to continue. So, bear with me. Okay. No, ten minutes, ten minutes. no problem. Have your time. Have your time because my surgery is coming. <laughs> before the effects of anesthesia fade away, I want to I want to do my surgery before you wake up. Ibn Hubeira, who was the vizier to look I actually really love this one. This is really, really interesting. He loves this one. All Listen. agree that no new synagogues or churches should be built in Islamic countries, in cities either open or fortified. Opinion is divided over whether it's permissible to build a new house of worship near the cities. Please, 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 please. You're disturbing the debate, brother. Malik, Shafi and Hanbali have said that it's too forbidden, but Hanafi said that if the place is near the city... You don't know what these things are? Yes, there's the four matabs. Okay. What, what, is, what is the name? Um, so, I just said Hanbali, Hanafi, um, Shafi. Yeah, no, 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 wait. Don't look. Tell me which four schools. What are the names of four schools? Oh, yeah, what is this? So you don't, you don't know... You, 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 okay, can you, can you let, let the camera see what you're reading from? Let them see. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's a bunch of quotes that I put together in Excel. Yeah, it's a bunch of lines without context. Joseph does not have a clue he, he, what he I has done. I he has collected, he has collected Adnan, this information. Adnan, yeah. stop talking. You asked me what they were. I said they're the four matabs, yeah? And I said there's, uni there's, consensus, continue, continue. there's consensus amongst them. Continue, that Joseph. A Jew, I, I don't need your permission, Adnan. That a Jew cannot build their house of worship and cannot build a new house of okay. worship under Islam. So what Adnan wants to do, 
He wants to present a history where Jews and Muslims are equal. When you read what it was actually like, so he said in the 15th century what it was like to live as a Jew under the Muslims in Israel. What he misses out in 1517, just a few years later, the entire community of Hebron was massacred. The Jewish community. The Jewish community of Jaffa was massacred. So Adnan cherry picks his quote. And what you'll notice was this happens every time we talk. This conversation started with Zionism. I challenged Adnan to a debate about Zionism, Zionism and what he does every time is rehash his same old quotes, same old talking points. Each time we talk, I bring different quotes. You bring the same old played out quotes, which you misquote, you misrepresent, you've never read Let the primary people source. decide. You've never read the primary source. Okay. Because you misrepresent them. If he would, he brings sources which actually ridicule Islam and he brings them a proof of supporting and worshipping Islam. Okay. Can so, I now? No, no, you can't. So I want to bring it back to what the debate actually started about, and that is Israel Palestine. And Adnan made a disgraceful and shameful comparison between the modern state of Israel and ISIS. Now I'm going to rip that. It's a very good comparison. I'm going to rip that apart. apart. Israel. No, 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 wait. Is, no, First, let me deal no, with history. No, We're going to come to Adnan, Israel. Adnan, no, 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 let me deal with I history. I literally said when I started. So I'm going to speak for an half an hour. You can speak for as long as you no, want. No problem. I'm going to speak. No problem. Good. Good. That's it. Surgery will be prolonged. <laughs> That's fine, Adnan. That's fine. Adnan made the disgusting comparison to the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. And the Jewish State of Israel. And Israel. Yeah. Israel, Just as Islamic Adnan as that state stop. is, as Jewish is. Adnan, stop. Israel is a secular democracy. There are two million Arabs that live there. They have complete equality with the Jews. So much so, so much so, there is an Islamic political party that is in the government today. They are in government. There are, there are Arab judges. Who sent Jewish prime ministers and presidents to jail? The best performing religious group in Israel in education aren't religious Jews, it's Arab Christians. Adnan wants to paint a picture where this beacon of democracy and equality in the Middle East is comparison is comparable to his co-religionists who enslave Yazidi women and rape and murder them, who behead people of other, even Muslims, who have a slightly different interpretation of Islam. They burn them, behead them. They you just made my point. They slaughtered hundreds of thousands of their own fellow Muslims and fellow non-Muslims who are living. You're helping me. In comparison, in comparison, hmm. Israel goes to incredible lengths to preserve the lives of Palestinian civilians. It treats Palestinians in its hospitals. It helps with the infrastructure. It provides electricity. So Adnan... No, 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 no problem. Yes, I, I talked about it. I talked about it. I will address it. I about it if you don't let him finish. Is he is ashamed by his co-religionists and the greatest insult he can think of to, to tar any state with is to compare it to his co-religionists in Syria. Okay, so can I now so respond? You can respond, yeah. Okay, good. So first to history, my surgery begins. What Joseph did, he read you quotes which he has collected from internet, from Google searches, uh, from Zionist websites, maybe Zionist propagandists. And he's, when, when, he, when he's reading of, when he's reading examples of persecution, he's reading of a Jewish man found jizya to be very high. Another Jewish man, was the wrong uh, was wrong in such and such place but do you notice did you notice when i read the quotes they represented social realities they represented they represented a lot of people how they lived under islam and muslims i will continue with that okay now the city of jerusalem the city of jerusalem the city of jerusalem, city of jerusalem okay what happened what happened throughout History with the Jewish people is the question. How did they feel under Islam? There are books written by academics. 
Now, I challenge Joseph, how, how do we come to the conclusion? I can read quotes and quotes, and he will read all his snippets, and then people will be confused. One simple challenge, one simple challenge. Academics who are recognized by institutions as scholars, wait, scollars yeah, okay Moshe Gil's the preeminent scholar on Jewish Islamic relations freedom uh, yeah Moshe Gil is the one who wrote the history of uh, Palestine yes yeah he's yeah. the have one you read him? yeah yeah yeah, so yeah you I know, know I okay okay no 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 have you read Moshe Gil right yeah, I've got both his books okay good brilliant that's so nice I'm so happy to hear that have you read have you read Amnon Cohen um, no okay have you read Jacob Lesnar no have you read um, uh, Bernard Lewis yes uh, okay you which one and the history Jews of Islam, yeah, Jews of Islam. have you read it Yes. Have you read the book? Are you sure? Several years ago. What does he say? Okay, what does he say in that book about Mus the Jews and the Muslims? So he okay, he now now we're getting somewhere. He has read the book. Now let's see if he's honest so about I, it. I disagree with Bernard Lewis. Ah. Uh, Bernard Lewis. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Mo Moshe Gill. I, Moshe by Gil. the way, all the people I mentioned are Jewish. All the people I'm Amnon Cohen, Moshe Jewish. Gil. But Moshe Gill is Bernard Lewis. Quote. Jewish, Jacob Lesnar, Jewish. He the has, you know, remember, is Moshe Gil. just I want you to notice his body language. When he mentioned Moshe Gill and he became excited. Yes, I've read it, I've read it, I've got two volumes. Okay, but when I mention other Jewish scholars, a plethora of them, uh, have you read Zion Zohar? No, but you are. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, you, okay, okay. And do you want me to keep mentioning names? You can mention I'm going to give you a list of Jewish scholars who will dismantle your Zionism okay. historically. They will show you how disingenuous you people are. Wait, 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 wait. This okay, so wait, 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 wait. He's playing Please. tricks. No, it's my turn. Okay. Sorry, wait, wait, you were asking wait, me wait. questions, so I was okay. responding to your questions. So, so how do we know what J J Joseph is saying and what I'm saying? Uh, we go to secondary sources. We go to Jewish scholars and non-Muslim scholars who have written on this phenomenon. Okay, they will tell you they will tell you that the Jews lived under Islam in protection and prosperity. Jewish scholars, I'm not talking about Muslim propagandists, imams, or Muslim theologians writing these books, trying to present them to the Zionists. Jewish scholars are writing this, such as, for example, okay, Dean Philip Bell. Who? Dean Philip Bell. Philip Bell. Yeah, who is a Jewish. professor of it. Who is a professor of Jewish history but is he in Jewish? the Philip, uh, just sound of um, name, That's why I'm asking. No, no, he's a professor of Jewish history, Jewish studies. Jewish. Okay, I don't know if he's Jewish. We can check. I'll okay, check Dean Philip Bell, Dean Professor Philip. Dean Philip Bell, who is at, who is dean and professor of Jewish history at Spurtus Institute of Jewish Studies in Chicago. This is what he had to say in his book. Okay, what does he say? He is a professor of Jewish history. He is a current recent scholar who has studied all of these quotes and beyond. What does he say? Jews under medieval Islam never suffered from same general negative perception as in the Christian West. Are you listening? Despite regional variations and high medieval political instability in medieval Islam, multicultural environments combined with active engagement in sciences and literature led to something of an Islamic golden age for the Jews. At least according to most historical accounts. So what Dean Philip Bell, a professor of Jewish history in, in, in an institute in Chicago is saying most historical accounts tell us that the Jews had a golden age under Islam. Okay. And then he continues, it has been primarily in the context of recent political developments that the once assumed positive view of Jewish life under medieval Islam have been seriously questioned. What recent political developments is he talking about? What? The state of Israel, the state of Israel and the Zionist, and the Zionist movement, right? It is only the Zionists who have challenged this golden age of Islam uh, of the Jewish people because it goes against the agenda. What do the Zionists argue like Joseph has been arguing? Why are we even having this debate? The reason we're having this debate is because Joseph was a, was a Zionist, proud Zionist, self-proclaiming Zionist. He has said that Jews needed protection. Their lives were in danger. What happened in Germany 
could happen again. Even though some scholars said that if Muslims are ruling Germany, we would have 6 million more Jews in the world today. Okay, some Muslim scholars said this, right? So why do the Zionists have to make up this lie and this story that the Jews were heavily persecuted under, under, under Islam, even though the overwhelming majority of Jewish historians writing on Jewish history, yeah, they say that the Jews lived under Islam in harmony and protection for over a thousand years. And who is saying this? Not Muslim historians, Israeli Jewish historians, including Bernard Lewis, who was seen as an authority on the history of Islam. He died over 90 years old. He was advising the US government during the Iraq war. He actually advised President Bush to attack Iraq. Bernard Lewis, this is hostile. This is how hostile this person. He has written a book titled The Jews of Islam. In this book, he states what? The Jews lived in relative harmony under Islam. Such a hostile person to Islam and Muslims is writing this and he doesn't like it because he's a Zionist. He's, uh, Bernard Lewis, Bernard Lewis Bernard, yeah, the yeah, wait, wait, he, 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 he did, he did. And then his conclusion was that all of these exceptional events and incidents put together cannot outdo or outweigh the positive experience of the Jewish people for over a thousand years with Muslims. This is, his, this is his conclusion. And not only that, other Israeli scholars, the surgery commences. This is the surgery. Now Joseph is going to enjoy the surgery. Amnon Cohen. Why do Israelis, Zionists like this man, have to argue that the, the Jewish people had no chance under Islam, even though they survived, what do you, brother. What do you mean by Zionists? What do you brother, brother, that? brother, we are having a debate. We're in the middle of a debate. So I'll come back to you. Okay. Amnon Cohen, a Jewish historian from Israel, studied the documents stored in the archives of the Sharia court of Jerusalem, commonly known as Sigil, from the 16th century, whereby he found 1,000 Jewish cases filed from the year 1530 to 1601 with the Sharia court. Cohen published his research in 1994, and during his research, he made some astonishing discoveries, as he himself states, and I quote Cohen. He states, cases concerning Jews cover a very wide spectrum of topics. If we bear in mind that the Jews of Jerusalem had their own separate courts, the number of the cases brought to Muslim courts, which actually meant putting themselves at the mercy of a judge outside the pale of their communal and religious identity is quite impressive. The Jews went to the Muslim court for a variety of reasons, but the overwhelming fact was their ongoing and almost permanent presence there. This indicates that they went there not only in search of justice, but did so hoping or rather knowing that more often than not, they would attain redress when wronged. The Jews went to court to resolve much more than their conflicts with, the, with Muslims or Christian neighbors. They turned to Sharia authorities to seek redress with respect to internal differences and even matters within their immediate family, intimate relations uh, between husband and wife, Nafaka maintenance payments to divorce support and infants, etc. He continues, their possessions were protected, although they might have had to pay for extra protection at night for their houses and commercial properties. Their title deeds and other official documents indicating their rights were honored when presented to the court, being treated like those of their Muslim neighbors. Keep in mind, this is an Israeli scholar called Amnon Cohen writing about the condition of the Jewish people in the city of Jerusalem in the 16th century when the Ottomans were ruling the city under Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. And he continues, the picture emerging from the sigil documents is baffling. On the one hand, we encounter recurring Sultanic decree sent to Jerusalem in response to pleas into response in response to pleas of the Jews the Jews are pleading with the Sultan 
to the effect that nothing should be done to stop them from applying their own law. Regarding a variety of matters, there are also many explicit references to the other overriding importance of applying Sharia law to them only if they so choose. On the other hand, if we look closely at some of the inheritance lists, we see that the local court allocated to female members of Jewish families half the share given to male members, exactly as in Islamic law. This meant ipso facto a, signi a significant improvement in the status of Jewish women with respect to legacies over the accorded, uh, over that accorded um, them by Jewish tradition. Although it actually meant the application of Islamic law and, and in an internal Jewish context. He, the Muslim judge, defended Jewish causes jeopardized by high-handed behavior of local governors. He enabled Jewish business people and craftsmen to lease properties from, from Muslim and endowments on an equal footing with Muslim bidders. More generally, he respected the rituals and places of worship and guarded them against encroachment, even when the perpetrators, perpetrators were other Muslim dignitaries. He doesn't stop. Neither do you. <laughs> Amnon Cohen now concludes, having studied the sigil court records, a Jewish Israeli scholar published this research in 1994, and I'm quoting him word by word against what Zionists like Joseph argue that Jews were always persecuted, they were always in a state of fear, they never prospered, they were always being brutalized by Muslims, and the list goes on, right? And using what? Those snippets he used earlier. And this is what modern scholarship of the Jewish people has to say to the Jewish people. His conclusion is, Amnon Cohen, and I quote, no one interfered with the internal organization or the external cultural and economic activities. In a world where civil and political equality or positive social change affecting the group or even the individual were not the norms, the Sultan's Jewish subjects had no reason to mourn their status or begrudge their conditions of life. The Jews of Ottoman Jerusalem enjoyed religious and administrative autonomy within an Islamic state and as a constructive dynamic element of the local economy and society they could and actually did contribute to its functioning so what point am i trying to make you tell us this is a jewish scholar from israel and there's a list of them there are many jewish scholars who simply cannot lie even though some of them are spin doctors no doubt some of these zionist academics teaching in israel and beyond they like to spin facts or they like to downplay the Islamic role in the well-being of the Jewish people, generally speaking. But there are those who know their integrity, their credibility is at stake. That's why people like Bernard Lewis, as hostile as he was to the Middle East or to the Arabs, in his public lectures, he said openly, in, in fact, in one of the lectures delivered in Israel in front of these Zionist Jewish activists, he said to them, there is no doubt that the Muslims allowed the Jewish people to live in harmony and peace. Okay? There's no doubt about that. Don't ever question that. Okay? So how on earth can Zionist activists like this can come and start quoting from primary sources out of context? Now, I'm going to finish now. I'm going to finish now. I want him to now bring me a recognized Jewish academic, let's say not Christian, not, uh, uh, not an atheist, not a Muslim, a Jewish academic who has said that Jews were persecuted throughout the Muslim history in the Muslim lands. One Jewish recognized Masikha. academic. Okay, okay, no, no, quote him, bring his quotes, bring his quotes, bring his conclusions. Read to me what he said. I want you to know, I produced, how many did I produce? How many? You've been listening to me. I produced a number of authorities from the Jewish sources to argue that the Jews flourished prosperously under Islam. I produced many. And did I quote one Islamic source? Did I quote one Muslim source? I did not. I'm relying heavily on Jewish sources. I want him to now produce one Jewish academic recognized by Western institutions or any reputable institution who said that the Jews as a norm suffered under Islam throughout the history of Islam within the Muslim civilization. Yalla, over to you.
What I find amazing Respond. about this is Adnan claims to be a historian. And he just ridiculed me for using primary sources. This is absolutely... So for those that don't understand how history works... Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. now Mr. Historian is going to teach us. Yeah. Do you have you a have, qualification in history? You have, you know, I have, I do. I, I know you do, which is the, I, I do. the comedy of what you just uh, said. No, no, no. So, so I can, Adnan, I can, Adnan, I can, Adnan, I can stand talking. and say, let me teach Adnan, you how history works. Adnan, stop talking. You have what's called a primary source, which is the original. You can tell us how Zionism, Zionism works. You have a primary or Zionist source. history works. And yeah. generously a translation of that primary source, which is what Adnan relies on. And then you have the secondary sources, which is the interpretation of those primary sources. Now, I brought you primary sources that were both Jewish and Muslim, from Tapari to Maimonides, from the Cairo Geniza to wandering historians who went to... Uh, Conclu to conclusions. So... Academic conclusions. What, what I gave you was the primary sources, and Adnan ridiculed them. What he's not telling you is every historian has a bias. Every historian has an agenda, usually. He's right, he's right. What Adnan's doing is he's taking that person's interpretation of history and presenting that because it supports his narrative. Jewish he's academics. also misrepresenting that. So Bernard Lewis, his favorite person to quote, talks extensively about the anti-Semitism that Jews suffered under Islam. Moshe Gill, who is the academic that the academics quote, he is the, or was the authority on Jew the Jewish condition under Islam. From the Geonic piece, from the very emergence of Islam through to, to the, the, the Ottoman period. He is the, the authority, the historian, the historian's quote, and he is explicit in his writing. Re read, read, read his conclusion. I haven't got them to me. I'd have to bring the book. I'll bring the okay, book then don't make book. claims. Okay, Adnan, the, what, you literally just quoted Bernard I Lewis. I quoted out. people. No, no, you just said, Bernard Lewis said this to some Israelis in an audience. Like every time you quote, when I look it up, it's a lie. Every time. Every time. No, 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 stand by that. I was being hyperbolic. I was being hyperbolic. Most times you bring... Most times. bring sources... One, 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 one. Wait, no, 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 this is a very serious claim. Adnan. Most times. I did not interrupt. One example. I did not interrupt you. Not You can't lie to people and expect me to not interrupt you. One example where I misrepresented the quotes. One example. One. He said, first he said every time. Then he went back on that. He said most time. That was hyperbole, right? Now I'm challenging you hyperbole, right? Now most times, all I'm asking for once, one, one example. Yalla, you know, you know, you can't, you can't just run away, throwing, throwing, what you'll also throwing, here, what you'll notice beep here. on the fan. What you'll notice you know, as they say, when it hits the I fan. Presented primary sources <laughs> of Jews who live under. Islam. One example. I, I need an example. Adnan. Wait, wait, wait. Adnan. I'll take it back. I take it back. Take what back? No, you said. Most times I misrepresent history and quotes. Okay. One example. Ya Allah, now we're happen. talking. It's going to be fun now. One example, one example. He's going to go on Twitter. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, remember he said every time and then he went back on so most is, times and what, now he can't even, this, he can't even this, think of one example. This is what Adnan said. Adnan claimed on video, and anyone can go back. So that's one case, you say. Okay. But before you presented one case. The multiple cases from that time. Okay, right. so you're going to present all those multiple cases, yeah? yeah? Inshallah, good, good, good. Now we're dealing with it. So what did I say? So Adnan said, we have been honored by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. Yes. Now, it doesn't say that anywhere. And the reason why this wait, is... Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, wait, 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 wait. So this is wait, the, wait, wait, wait. the Pitron. No, no. no. Sefer Pitron Farah. No, Sefer Pitron. Yeah. Yeah. So where, do I, where, 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 where is that? So this is, so you said on camera. No, 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 read, the, read what I posted. That's not, that's not no, no, read what I posted, brother. Okay. You can't read what that's you posted. He's reading from what he posted. That's a screenshot, right? He, he's reading for what he thinks I said. Read from what I, I posted. I'm trying to get that. You're going to have the, uh, you know, this is surgery gone wrong. This is, this is. Now we, we're looking for this instruments. Is, this is the quote that I. You're going to have the ride of your life today. This is the English quote that I've been quoted. Uh, okay, where from? I don't know where you quoted it. Oh, good. What do you do? <laughs> if you don't know where I quoted it from. I can go back to no, you, 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 I, I'm assuming you might have checked it, right? So that we have I quoted the book title, the page, and the exact quote screenshot from the page. You're going to have fun today. You're going to have fun. He said, first, he said, all the times I misrepresent history. 
Then when I challenged him, he said, Adnan, most times. Adnan, can I respond? And now he's struggling to find one. Go on. So I'm going to go through each one of the ones you brought. Yeah, yeah. So let's leave the them one by one. Who, the people in whose hand the temple is today mm -hmm. have made it into a choice, into a choice, excellent and honorable place of worship. Yes. They say, let us worship the one God who created heaven and earth, to whom the creatures belong until the coming of the Messiah. And on that day, the true worship will be renewed and will be acceptable before God. Okay. Gonna, before, before we get into what it actually says, I'm going to ask you, what language did you quote? I took this quote from a history of Jerusalem, authored by Karen. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay. Authored by Karen Armstrong. Okay. When I quoted this source, I because Karen Armstrong is a reputable scholar. She's lecturing around the world. She's a well-recognized scholar. Okay. And she is uh, qualified in her field. She actually taught Hebrew at university, as far as I know. I read, wait, 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 finish. Let me finish. You asked me a question. She quoted this very quote in a book, A History of Jerusalem. I took it word by word and I pasted it. So now he's claiming that I misrepresented the the original. Okay, that's what. So, okay. Can, can so now, so now you're going make, back on no, it. Can I make no, you're point. going back on it. Listen to what good, I'm saying. Good, 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 good. So they're getting smart. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. So Adnan was ridiculing me before for using primary sources, and he's fully reliant on secondary sources. Yes, I am. And here's I have the problem. To. Yeah. I read, I went, Sefer Petron um, was one of the hardest books I ever managed to source. It does not exist in English. You can't get it in any Jewish bookshop. You can't get it on Amazon. Amazing. You can barely get it anywhere. I managed to I, find, I found it straight I, away. No, you didn't. I you found didn't. it straight away. In Hebrew. Google, Google Sefer Petron. Now, right now, I'm going to show you. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is wait, 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 wait. This is going to be fun. This is going to be This amazing. is going to be. Because I found Sefer, it in Hebrew and it doesn't Sefer. say anything that he says. What you're going to find is... Whoa, 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 Let's see. This okay. Sefer Petron Torah. Can you see? That's a different it's, book. Wait, 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 wait. It's a different book. It's a different book. It's a different book. Is this a different book? Yeah. Sefer Petron Torah. This is the book I quoted. Hebrew. Yes. It's in a, Hebrew. It's a different no. book. So, different books with so, the same name. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is, the this, is the, this is the guy we're dealing with. This is what I have to put up with every single week in the park. Okay. This, this, the, uh, he's calling me a clown. He's been calling me a clown. Okay. And I'm telling him where to find his Jewish sources. Right. So, this is, it's a simple Google search. Sefer, S-E-F-E-R, Petron, P-I-T-R-O-N, Torah, T-O-R-A-H. Do that, you'll find the Hebrew text. And he said, it's the most difficult book to find. I'm not surprised. Most books are very difficult for you to find because you can't, you don't want to read them. This is, okay. this is the best bit. So, I'll ask him again. Show me the text inside that book. So, so, so you were no, wrong. No, no, so you, not at all. Wait, so at least have it. some integrity and say, I apologize for all my blunders. First, I accused him of, of, of getting history wrong mostly, of, all the time, all the time. I said all the time. So I got, I managed to get my BA and my masters and I'm doing my further studies. So, all of these scholars in these universities are mark, marking my essays, must be a bunch of so fools or I'm must not, be anti-Zionist for them I'm to even pass my challenge. exams. Show me the text inside that book now. Which? I, I don't it's listen. A are you not listening to me? Are you are you, are you partially so, deaf? Adnan. Okay. Let me, Again, I said I quoted, text. I took this quote from Again. the uh, history of Jerusalem authored by Karen Armstrong. Uh, yes, Karen Armstrong. When did I claim asking, wait wait wait? When did I claim ever so in I, my are you Stop listening? Talking. No, I'm not listening. You listening? You're not because listening. you're making things up. So, okay. You're making things for the, for the up. I never the said I read the Hebrew. For the I never said I read the entire Hebrew text. Just, I claimed that this quote is there and it is used in this context, the context I used it in by Karen Armstrong in a book, A History of Jerusalem. Karen, Period. You I, can go back to our first conversation on this point. For some reason, this guy cannot get this into his head so for the last Karen two years. Armstrong, Karen Armstrong, I imagine, has never read the quote either. It is incredible. Now he's claiming Karen Armstrong, it's who incredible. taught Hebrew. Incredible. Actually, I don't know if it's he taught. It's incredibly difficult to solve. I'm going to read her credentials now. I, you're going to, you're going to, oh, you're going to have the, you're going to have the right of your life Karen today. Armstrong, wait, wait, wait. Nun, I'm going to read. Jewish. She's a, she's a nun. Who said she's Jewish? Did I say she? Did I say she's Jewish? No, no. So what are you? So, what, what's again, wrong with you, man? Again, are you hearing things? Again. Is someone whispering Adnan, to you? Adnan, Adnan, why are you so afraid to let me speak? Yeah, I'm not. Then shut up. <laughs> so 
The book is incredibly difficult to source. I managed to track down a PDF version of it in Hebrew. I went through it. It says nothing of what he's saying. There's a quote that kind of roughly resembles what he's saying. What it goes on to say is it ridicules Islam. It calls Muhammad a madman. And what Adnan doesn't know is any of this, because if he knew how it insulted Islam, he would never have brought it as a proof. Most Jewish sources I quoted today, I will, I will help him, so, are hostile to Islam. Most Jewish sources I quoted today are hostile. So when did I claim this guy, what, what the problem with him is he builds a straw man. He builds a straw man and speak? because he doesn't know what are a straw man is, no, no, no. and he attacks it. I never claimed that these Jewish sources are pro-Islamic and they are praising. They, what they are saying is their experience with Muslims living in the domain of Islam was positive. They're not saying Islam is true. If they thought Islam was true, why would they be rabbis? Why would they even write in Hebrew, uh, you know, these commentaries? They are not Muslims. They don't believe in Islam. They believe Prophet Muhammad was an imposter. He was not a true prophet. I'm telling you this. So why are you attacking straw man? When did I say Adnan? when when did I say Sefer Petron is a pro-Islamic text? When did I say that? You were saying that they were they was literally no, in that you, quote. What you're in that quote? Again, I'll read what you said. Adnan, I'll read this guy's a text. waste of time. We have been honored by the Muslims that we worship together the same God in this holy place. We have been honored. When you actually read what the book says, it says nothing of the sort. Now I'm not going to say. Okay, okay I'm, I'm going to take you up on that. I'm going to get I'm going to get someone to the read the, uh, no 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 the, the actual the yes, actual wait 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 the if Hebrew. okay wait there has to be some some kind of uh, some kind of a compensation for all the pain I'm going through because you know sur surgeons when they do surgery it's it really drains their brain you know because it's now it's been killing my brain for the last 2 hours wait okay wait 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 okay no problem and you're struggling to show us how. So okay, okay wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get the Hebrew text Definitely. translated Thank you. word by word. Thank you. And if it says what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, then what, Joseph? Some kind of compensation. Do you all agree? Yeah. Do you all agree? Uh, there has to be some kind of price to pay, right? Yeah. What price is it? What are you gonna pay? What are you gonna pay? If the Hebrew text, word by word, word by word says what Karen Armstrong translated, so okay, wait, if, as I said, wait, 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 that if a Jewish rabbi confirms, I'm going to get a Jewish rabbi to read that text, translated word by word. In context. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. If, Otherwise listen. I can say, wait, wait, wait. I strike oh. the neck of wait, the wait, 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 what is the context? Read the quote again. What is the context? So, uh, but, can you read the Hebrew? You have the Hebrew there. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, you don't have it. You got it wrong, right? Okay. So he, have you read the Hebrew of that quote? Yes. yes. You have. Do you have it now? No, I just said I don't have it now. Okay, you don't have it I'm now. Not okay. Of okay, okay, okay. If the Hebrew text says exactly what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, what price are you willing to pay? And put a price on me as well. Put okay. a price on me as well. So what I'm Equal, it has to be equal, it has to be fair. So what I'm huh? saying, Sorry? Challenge Aram should not be. No, 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 it's a, it's a gift. I'll give I'll buy him a gift. I'll buy him a bunch of roses. No problem. So okay. Oh, wait, wait. I'll be explicit. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm putting a challenge out there. I, I, I want to be explicit. No, no. As I said. Don't be explicit. There is a quote that resembles that, but when read in context. We, we are dealing with it. We're discussing. It. The, the yes. Sefer Petron is a, is a book that is an anti-Muslim polemic. It is not a book which endorses so, the quote, the phrases. The quote, the quote. So if, 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 look, if there is a hostile enemy, and this is why this quote is more valuable to us. Now it's confirming it's a hostile source. And even, even though it's a hostile source, it is saying that these people on who, in whose hand the temple is today, who are they? The Abbasids, the Muslims. In the ninth, Pe Sefer Petron is a ninth century source. It's a ninth century Jewish anonymous source written in Palestine. The person is an eyewitness. He or she is definitely a he, okay, is explaining that in the temple, in, in, the temple is in the hands of these people today and they have made it an honorable place of worship. So this is a hostile source which he ag agrees to and admits is praising the situation in Paris. So Joseph, have some shame. 
What kind of what kind of human are you, man? Have some shame. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me. If if that if that quote says what it says, or what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, what price are you willing to pay? Be brave. Be brave. Zionists are brave, no? Zionists are brave. Yeah. 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 You speak a lot. So I'll be again very clear for the camera. There is a quote which says something which resembles that, which. Uh, now it resembles. So he has come from, doesn't say that, to resembles. Okay. I just want you to know what, what is happening here. It resembles. Adnan, what I want to be how, how, how? Adnan, stop talking and let me respond. Please. Okay. So the book is an anti Islamic polemic. He presented it as evidence of the Jews honoring Muslims. What Adnan said in the actual quote we hear the conversation, and there's nothing that he's unbelievable. So first, remember, so two minutes, two first, minutes. He claimed, so first he claimed that I put Ishmaelites in there. First he claimed. So this you, is, do you remember? This is what, wait, 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 Joseph, Adnan, wait. Stop, this, is, me, Adnan, this is an expose. Adnan, this is an expose I, today. I explicitly say there is nothing that resembles this quote, which is what you said. We have been honored by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. Nowhere in that book. When did I say that? On camera. That's literally what I was responding okay, to. Okay, okay. Now, now, now. Stop, okay, let's no, assume stop. I said. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Yeah. That is what you said. Hmm. I said, I searched for that book. I found that book. There was nothing that resembles that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, even if I said it on camera, which I doubt, I'll, I'll, I'll have to go and check. Even if I said it, every single word I said, uh, said is substantiated by the so quote. What, every single word. What Kevin Let's Armstrong, break it down. Let's let break it down. What Kevin Armstrong says is very different to what Adnan says. The okay. thing about we, we have been on First, the quote didn't Adnan, exist. Adnan, stop. The quote does exist. The quote he's quite talking about is set talking about the Temple Mount. It's not talking about Jews being what honest. What price are you willing to pay? So I will pay. Adnan, if it says anything, that, if it says again, if it says what you said, you weren't saying that before, were you? So Adnan, he was he was actually disputing the quote. Are you witness? Adnan. Let's 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 ask the witnesses. Was he disputing the quote? The actual quote when he read it. So this is was he was he disputing the quote? Adnan, I this guy you a is a liar. compulsive Adnan, liar. I you a liar. This guy is a compulsive I liar. You a liar. Because you said this. You claim there is a quote that says we have been honored by the Ishmaelites that we worship together the same God in this holy place. There is no such okay. quote. That okay. was a lie. Stop. Okay, good. Was that a lie? Good, 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 good. Was good. that a lie? Good, 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 good. I said Allegedly, well, yes I'm, I'm, no. I'm responding. I'm just it's a yes no answer. What's your name? Yes or no? What's, what's your name? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. What's your name? No. No. Okay, exactly. So now let me talk. He, uh, he claims that I said that Ishmaelites have made this place an honorable place of worship. No, of I honor. didn't. I said we have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Okay. We Good. have been honored. Okay. Okay. Now, read the quote. So this is first, first of all in the ninth century who is ruling who is ruling Palestine? Would have been the Abbasids. Wait, 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 wait. Abbasids, I'm just okay, kidding. okay. You said it, Abbasids. Okay. Who are Abbasids? Huh? <laughs> who are Abbasids? <laughs> no, 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 no. Genealogically. Ethnically, who are Abbasids? Descend from Abbas. Who is Abbas? Who is Abbas? He's one of the Sahaba. He was just the Abbas. Uncle. Abbas is the son of Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib is the son of Hashim. Hashim is the son of Abdul Manaf. And the list goes back all the way to Ishmael. Are you aware? Are you aware? Okay, so now, now this guy, Wallahi, I, I, I'm actually enjoying it. I, I hope people who are watching are also enjoying this. Yeah? Wait, wait, wait. So Abbasid dynasty was an Ishmaelite dynasty. Okay, by that virtue, because they were ruling Palestine at the time, the quote states that those in whose hands the temple is today, i.e. the Ishmaelites, they have made it an honorable place of worship. Okay, is that clear? Right? So now, now, if you have any shame, okay. if you have any shame, any integrity, which you don't seem to have, but I will give you the benef benefit of the doubt. Miracles can happen. Okay. Apologize can, to can me now. I, can I speak? Does he... Do, does he do, I do, done. Uh, does he owe me an apology? Yeah. Does he owe me an apology? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, apologize now. There's a big problem, apologize so now. Of course, I'm going to agree with that, Dan. But for the camera, for the benefit of my audience, 
The quote, I, me and Adnan were talking about how Muslims treated Jews. The quote in, in, not in, the, in the original manuscript talks explicitly about monotheism in the Temple Mount being turned into a place of monotheism. Nothing to do with how the Muslims treat the Jews. So let me, just so everyone's following, we were debating whether Muslims persecuted Jews. Adnan quoted... Because of Israel, Adnan, because of Israel. Adnan, I didn't interrupt. You're not going to apologize? Adnan, let me speak. I, 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 if I was you, I would apologize. This is a debate tactic. It's a human, not it's a human thing. the audience to follow the conversation because he's trying to use cheap tactics. So again, we were debating what it was like to live as a Jew under Islam. He brings a quote which is never read in the original source, because if he did, he knew that the quote would talk, the book would talk about the persecution that Jews faced under Islam. Show and me, he, show, show us, no, 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 no. I, no I don't believe I, you, I, I, show us, I, 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 show us. No, no, I don't believe anything that's he says. Fine. That's show, fine. Show, if, that's if, fine. There, if there's no evidence, this guy has shown to be a liar repeatedly throughout this discussion. So, so we don't trust anything he says. Show, me I, I, ask yeah. me for evidence. When I make a claim, I will present the evidence. Adnan, you if you cannot show so that okay. source, you're gonna, you're gonna show me from Pet Sefer, Sefer Petron that the author is claiming that the Jews are persecuted. Show us I, now. I, I, now, 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 no. Sefer Petron, quote in so Hebrew what, so what and I translate do, and show us where it says. The, of me speaking. This no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Don't lie, Joseph. Don't so lie. You don't have speak. to lie. So let me don't lie. Let me finish yeah. a sentence. Yeah. If yeah. you're not afraid yeah. to speak, let yeah. me finish a sentence. Yeah. So we were debating whether Muslims persecuted Jews. He then said that we have been honored by the Ishmaelites. That I didn't say that. Don't lie. I literally read your I quoted you Karen Armstrong you in this regard. Okay. You, you, you have, Adnan. you have comprehension okay. problems. Okay, you have comprehension you problems. Your you brain said, cells are, are not you functioning. Are you denying that you said that's that? why you're are a Zionist? You that's you why said, you're a Zionist. We have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Ishmaelites. If, 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 are you denying that you said this? We have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Are you denying that? I have to go and check what I said because I don't trust you. Number one. Wait, wait. Okay. I don't trust you. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm responding. What? I'm responding. That is I'm the responding. Argument. I'm responding. Did I qualify my words from the quote? Did I or not? Did I did I contextualize my even? Let's say even if the, and you know what? Let's 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 make it easy. Let's make it easy. I I own those words, even though I might not have said those words. I own them. I own them. I will stand by the term Ishmaelites and honoring the Jewish people. Okay, I will stand by these two because this is what he's debating. The quote says that a Jewish author writing a commentary on the Torah in the ninth century in Jerusalem is writing that those people in whose hand the temple is today in the ninth century, yeah, they have made it an honorable place of worship and we worship one God. Okay, now, now. He says, those people in whose hand the temple is today. Who are those people? In the ninth century, who are those people? Abbasids. Abbasids are Ishmaelites. I've already qualified that. This guy is brain cells dead today for some reason. It's not registering. The information is not, you know, Microsoft gets viruses, right? So is, is the virus has really con corrupted the, the software. It's not getting through. The Abbasids are Ishmaelites. So I stand by that, that term. The quote says they made the temple into an honorable place. For who? Who is writing? Who is writing? Who? No, who is writing this? A Jewish rabbi, a Jewish scholar. So he's saying he, they have made it an honorable place for who? For Muslims? He's writing about himself, right? So this is the quote used in this very context. I am using it in by Karen Armstrong in her history of Jerusalem, who's a scholar for some reason. This guy's brain cells are not registering that information. It's a very, very minor point. We have spent more time than necessary on this point. You know why he's doing this? You know why he's doing this? Because he now knows that he's looking like a fool. He made a claim first that I misrepresent history all the time. Remember? Yes. Then I challenged him on that. He said, no, 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 no. That was a hyperbole, right? Uh, most times, most times. I said, okay, most times. Show me one. He pulls out, he pulls out this one. this one. And now on this one, he's already struggling. He's trying to find a way out. 
He's not getting the way out. I even challenged him. I even gave him the benefit of the doubt. Go and find the Hebrew quote. If it doesn't say what Karen Armstrong claimed it says, what price are you going to pay? If it says exactly what she said it says, what price are you paying? He's not responding. Sorry. Repeatedly ignoring my plea or my call. Sorry, so and put the same price on me. I'll let him choose. 100,000 pounds, I'll go and sell my, my clothes and my whatever I possess, you know, little, whatever little I possess, I'll sell my books, okay, and I'll bring the money. But what you're going to do? Okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to sell? So what you'll notice there is... Adnan, the Zionist state of Israel is Adnan not going to come to your rescue. Strong, a string of ad hominem. Okay, no. Can you answer my question? So, no, what are you willing to pay? No, 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 no. No, no. This is, this is not acceptable. He's wasting our time. Flung insult after insult at me. And when people fling insults, it's usually because they've lost the debate. So I will repeat for the benefit of the audience. The conversation we were having was about persecution of Jews. Adnan brought an example of a quote that does not exist. He said, we have been honored by the Ishmaelites. Now there is a youth, I'm gonna paint, illustrate it for the audience so they understand. Prior to the Islamic conquest of Jerusalem, the Temple Mount had been turned into a garbage heap. It had been violated. Our holiest site had been left in ruins. And Islam, Muslims conquered Jerusalem and turned that round and turned it into a place of monotheism. So when the author is talking, he's not talking about the condition of Jews. Do you believe him? The, the, Do you believe him? The, he doesn't have the Hebrew, he's making this story up. Because he's not, so even if you read the quote. So, so ch Arnold, accept my challenge. If you're right, I'm wrong. I'm willing to accept. Adnan. If you're right, accept my challenge. What price are you willing to put? So, what price are you willing to put if you are wrong on the quote? What price? Just finish it, man. Finish, finish the whole debate. Well, be brave. The quote was whether you were right. With I explained. I explained how yes, my my you words. Did your words? Okay. Yes. No. 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 I did yes. not twist. Yes, I did you not twist. Twist like a snake. Okay. G guys. 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 Those of you who listen to me using the same quote, a Jewish author writing in the 9th century, saying Adnan, for the 50th time, no, Adnan, saying... you're not going to speak over me. I was speaking. So again, the, Jew, the Jewish author is commenting on the, the Temple Mount, which had been violated and left. In de it was desolate. It was a garbage heap. It had been turned into a beautiful shrine to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It had been turned into a place... Takbir! <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's been turned into a place of worship. And all Jews. Inshallah, he will take shahada. Jews, including myself. I'm, I'm sure he's breaking Jews, inside, you know. Inside, he's realizing. All Jews, that including myself. All Jews, including myself, recognize that the Muslims turning the Temple Mount into a place to worship the Creator is far, far preferable. To so he's now accepting what I said. Far, Adnan, he's you... now accepting what I said. Adnan, Allahu Akbar. Adnan. Takbir. Adnan. 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 He's accepting what I said. Get a sense of who I'm debating here, by the way. It's not just Adnan. <laughs> it's a very large crowd. There's no very brave, the very brave Zionist. He's being attacked left, right. People are throwing stones on him. Look at him. Oh, let me try to. <laughs> you, you know the paint, you the picture. Let, let me turn your camera around. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. No, 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 no. Why not? Why not? I, I want, want people to see who's to, all to... these bad people who are trying to attack. You know, you. Adnan. So don't 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 you say like stupid it. things like the this on thing, camera. What happens is when you try to refuse, that I'm fighting a crowd. He plays a clown and tries to distract and prevent me from finishing a point. Ken, I tell me to Brit. That's So, okay. <laughs> You know Hebrew? Yeah, he does. Yeah, you know. Can you read a quote for? Okay. Can you read a quote from us? Okay. I'm gonna find that quote. I'm gonna. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Go with which one you believe. Carry on. I'm listening. It says Paul. Listen to what I'm saying. Um. So. The the original author is talking about how something that it is holy to the Jewish people, the holiest site in the world had been turned into a rubbish heap and then it had been restored to a place of worship, worshipping the Creator. So he said it's been turned into an honourable place of worship. What Adnan said was different. We were debating about how Muslims persecute the Jews and he was saying, this author said that we have been... I am so happy Muslims. he admitted it. We have been honoured by the Muslims. That's it. I'm done. And I'm... So obviously he's not accepting my challenge, which is fine. He just admitted it. Adnan, okay. 
The challenge is what you said is not. The challenge is if what Karen Armstrong said. And I literally said. And you just said, said you admitted. I said from the very beginning. Good. The quote resembles Thank you. What Karen Armstrong Thank you. So Armstrong I was, said. in other words, ladies and gentlemen, in other wrong. words, you I was not wrong. misrepresenting of history. You, were. you said we have been honored by the Muslims or the Ishmaelites, and it doesn't say anything of the sort. Uh, uh, who who, who was I'm managing the temple? Adnan, who was managing just, in the ninth century? Wait, 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 wait! In the ninth century, who was managing the temple? The Abbasids. I've literally Abbasids. The Abbasids who are the same people. Abba who made, Muslims. Who made Jews wear yellow wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Talk about the quote. Talk about the quote. Donkeys. They wouldn't let them ride on horses. They wouldn't let them rebuild. Their CNN, houses. Fox News, NBC. This is the Abbasids. Okay. This is the Abbasids. CNN, and he Fox News, NBC. That a Jew living under the Abbasids. Okay. Was saying that we're CNN, being honored Fox by News, these NBC. Okay. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Before you ask her, wait, we're in the middle of a debate. So now it's clear that this gentleman, I will let the audience decide. There are Zionist people watching on this, uh, on this channel and there are Muslims watching. I will let you use your own sense and decide whether this guy has any credibility left. Okay. I have been using sources upon sources. Secondary sources and primary sources. I've been using primary I'm, sources. I've been, I've and been, you've never okay. read those. So now, sources. how history works, how history works, let me teach you how history works because he, yeah, he you is. You don't read the primary sources. Wait, wait, you just wait, read wait, the wait, 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 wait. I successfully, I successfully, I successfully, uh, successfully uh, attained a BA in history in, uh, with honors. With honors? Wait, wait, wait. And I'm not boasting, I'm only trying to explain this so that you understand that I am somewhat qualified to speak on history as a student, right? And I have successfully completed my master's from the University of London in history and I'm now sources. pursuing I'm now pursuing further studies this man has not I don't know whether he has done his uh, bachelor's or even a levels I don't know I don't know okay so he cannot be talking on history how history works is scholars academics academics they study primary sources then they write secondary works so they they go through primary sources and then they write their conclusions based upon those primary sources. What I read to what I what I read to you was the primary sources and then the conclusions of secondary sources, recent scholars. Our recent scholars, they have studied a lot of these primary sources. That's why I asked him a very specific question. And those who study history will understand where I'm coming from. I asked him to present one conclusion from a Jewish scholar, let alone really Christian. No, no, no. He's speaking to have a memorized... you haven't you haven't read anything from Moshe Gill, so stop saying Moshe Gill. You haven't read anything. No, you did not I literally qu quoted Moshe Gill in this conversation. Page number book, quote again. I'm I'm gonna allow you. Page number quote. Quote where he said Jews were persecuted by Muslims throughout the history of Islam. I didn't say that, I said I was quoting I've got a again. question on that topic. Well, well, you, will, you will come back to you. We'll when come I back to you. Okay. She saw the decrees regarding dress code. No, that's not Moshe Gill. That is Moshe Gill. Okay, okay. Is that, is, are these the words of Moshe yeah, Gill? These are the words Which of book? What page, page, page number? So I'll, I will, I will bring that so, so stuff it. Keep it to yourself. So okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, No, 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 no. You did not quote a historian. Give me the name of the book. You could give me the name. You were calling Sefer Petro. Um, what was it? Petros, uh, Petros something over there? What was it you were calling something? In the, in the first conversation? Yes, yes. Absolutely. No. I got that. Didn't, didn't even get just, the like, right. just like you're saying Hanafi. There's no, is there anything Hanafi in Islam? No. Hanafi? Okay, so shut up. Okay, is that, is so, so, so wait, 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 wait. No, uh, we, we agree. We agree on, we agree on the fact that He's a liar, and I'm speaking the truth. Okay, that's okay, that's what that's what we're going. Wait, 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 wait. So now, now, no, I'm I'm not. I, you know, I'm known for this. I I don't bite my words. I don't like to. I don't like to be polite when I meet people like this. Okay. No, 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 no problem. Leaders, leaders have to speak straight. Okay. So, so brother, don't lecture me. For let me finish this. Let me. You don't. Did you just come now? We've been debating for three hours. You just came now. So stay, stay out. Okay. Wait, wait. No problem. Brother, I let you. Speak. I will. I will. We'll come to your questions. Not matter what time I Brother, you just came I now. We've been debating for three hours. The reason that I came. Why okay. Why don't you try to talk to each other, work together, see what you are. We have been talking for three hours. Every single time you both speak, you either shut him down and not communicate. Brother, leader, brother. You lead people properly. And you brother, properly and you show them brother. Thank you, you for the lecture. My question thank you for the lecture. We've been speaking for three hours. Jew, Jewish. Can I? Can I finish my point? I've been okay. So I'm gonna. So I'm gonna finish my point. So, so his claim. His claim that. I was misrepresenting history falls on its face again. He has failed to show us in that quote that I misrepresented it. While I showed you, now it's your decision. You can decide. Second example. Any other example where I misrepresented history? Second example. Yallah.
Okay. First is out. So the first and you decide. You decide. Let people decide. decide. Yes. He's yes. saying that yeah. the Jewish yeah. rabbi was saying we have been on it. Yeah. Like I'm so confident that, anyway. that I said put a price on it. Put a price. You don't put a price on it. No problem. Just giant shit, man. Yeah. I agree, when he is. That shit happened, all they fed to Muslim soldiers is the algorithm and it's the fucking government. It's not the religion. So, the second example. This Jews is will only see Jews killing Jews on their phone in that time, and Muslims okay. will only see Muslims. Second Muslims example. So, if they see each other on the street now, who's fed them that, that information? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, they have that automatic presumption he looks like that, so I'm going to think he is like that. We no, that only day fools day feel like that. Brother, you just came now and you can't start see. start lecturing That's us. Three saying. hours this we've been debating. You don't know the context. You battle. don't know what the we're discussing. With the banking family. Okay, so so go uh, go and deliver a speech there. People will listen to you. People will listen to you. Yes. Yeah. Go go over there and do a speech. The only one again trying to shut good information down. This is why I say this is not the way to lead. Second yeah, example. I'm with energy right now. So 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 they were. They were first. First, I was misrepresenting history all the time. That's out. Then most times, then I asked him one example. He failed on that. He's now looking for the second example of misrepresentation of history by Adnan Rashid. I'm interested. I would like to know if I'm misrepresenting history. I'll apologize. I'll say, guys, I'm sorry, man. I've really, you know, I'm, I've messed up, and I will apologize. So I, I can't find the original quote that you had. Okay, okay. So, so, so I, I'm so, going to read the I'm going to read the actual quote. حسب الكيان اليهودية مسموح يتجوز بنت أخوه وعمر القانون يمنع ذلك. أتامي بما عشان يبدأ في هذا تيهودي مطلع خلي تختين ما في نيتش الخا على أفش أخوك وصير الصوت إذا بقول في لوجيم يعني. Two minutes. Yeah. Two So this is this is this is this is the quote that he. I haven't got the original quote that Adnan said, so I can't respond to that. But what we have this is, if one of our contemporaries, look, and this is um, Bakhya ibn Hakuda. If one of our contemporaries... Wait, wait. Two minutes, this is, um, yeah, 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 no problem. No, are you, you can quote it. What claim are you making here first? So, so that I, we are clear, we don't have to go around uh, for another hour. What claim are you making here on this quote? Have I misquoted this uh, quote? So you no, no. say... Yeah. So yeah. what you said is that... Um, Bakhya ibn Hakuda said that the, like, unfortunately, I haven't got the original quote, so it's... it's I, I, po I posted this from an original book, yeah, translated no, by a Jewish man by, from Hebrew to, to, into... To, 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 I haven't got the original quote of what you said in the debate, which is what I was... But do, but do, you, do you know where I, I got, got, do you know where I got it from? Yes, yes. yes yeah? Yes, 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 can, you, can you bring that out? No, 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 the actual title of the book. Um, yeah, this one. This one. Yeah. You know what? It, you know. Okay. 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 Well, now wait. Wait. He's about to show us an example of my representation, misrepresentation of history. Okay. And I quoted. I posted the image Adnan, of the book. I, Adnan, can I speak? Yeah. Literally, I was speaking, and now you. Okay. But can you explain the context? That's why. This is why. Yeah. What happened there? So, you, cha you challenged me on this. I posted the book, so, okay. the page number, and the quote. So yes. What, what Adnan presented was that the rabbi was talking about the condition of Jews under Islam. Now I'm going to read you what the book actually uh, be, before Joseph, I want you to read, but before you do the context, very, very important of the discussion, Joseph came back and he said, this court does not exist. No, I didn't. On Twitter. Well, this, Go back. Go back on Twitter. Yes. Go back on Twitter. Read. Read your tweet. He said, this court does not exist. Adnan Rashid is a liar. This court does not exist. He challenged me on two quotes and I posted both of them. I posted both of them. And then he started making excuses. When he saw the quote, instead of admitting, yes, the quote does exist, then, then he started to play games with the wording. Instead of admitting the quote does exist, this man did say something, but then he started to play games with the wording, which is what he's about to do. And we will see even there, same thing's going to happen. Ishmaelites. Remember Ishmaelites? The Abbasids? Nothing to do with Ishmaelites, yeah. but... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So it, 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 it does, it does. No, it, it does, watch. Okay, what's the word it uses? You, you, you tell me. Nothing Make your claim. Make Nothing your claim. Okay, what, okay. What, did I t what did you tweet? You said this quote does not exist. No, no you said that. Wait. Okay, I'm going to read the uh, tweet now. The tweet's not there. I called it for our debate. Oh, you uh, I didn't you deleted it. Yeah, yeah. You deleted it. So Joseph deleted the tweet. And I got this because I knew we were okay. going to debate this. So I, I should have taken a screenshot. Joseph accused me of lying by claiming there is no such quote. What I did was I took the name of the book, the title page, the picture, 
of the title page, the picture of the page, and that, that very paragraph, I, so this is, this I, is I, I, I took the this screenshot and I posted. Okay, and this, this, is, this, is, this is what it is. Show it to him, show it to him. This is what I posted. Okay, okay. now, Please then, now, so the code does exist. You admit now, for the first time in the camera, on camera, the code does exist. So again, but it doesn't mean what I said. No, what if, okay, Adnan, can you let, I'll tell you, I'll read what we said on Twitter. Okay, sorry, come, come on this side. Yeah, okay. yeah, sorry. Go on. Please see what, this is Adnan. Please see what Rabbi Bakhtar bin Ibn Bakhuda said about the prosperity of the Jewish people under Islam in the 11th century of Spain. The images show the exact quote and the page from this. Please see page 171 of this particular edition. I hope you will um, now acknowledge your error. And so what I responded, so, so, Adnan. Yeah. What I responded, and I'll, actually I'll read the quote so there's context. So what did you respond? So I'm going to respond. How did you I'm respond? Going, I'm going to respond, but I'm going to read the quote first. Because you posted the no, quote. No, no, but how did you Adnan. respond? If one of our contemporaries, this is the Jewish rabbi, looks for similar miracles now, let him examine objectively our situation among the Gentiles since the beginning of the diaspora and the way our affairs are managed in spite of the differences between us and them, both secret and open, which are well known to them. So I'm just going to repeat the, 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 the crucial part of that sentence. If one of our contemporaries looks for similar, similar miracles, let him examine the objectively our situation among the nations since the beginning of the diaspora, the condition of under the gender. Continue reading. Since the beginning of the diaspora. Yes. I'm just going to go back and then mm. you can do it in your way. So now, what I responded to... No, 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 finish, finish the quote. Finish the quote. Okay. Finish the quote. Don't read half of it. Okay. Let them see our situation as far as living and subsistence are concerned is the same as theirs or even better in times of war and civil disturbances. You see how both their leaders and their vulgar peasants toil much more than the middle and lower classes among us, according to our Lord's promise contained in Scripture. Allahu Akbar. So now... Now, 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 now. Let, let's... Now, let, let's Did you understand Gen the quote? So now, now. Yeah, what's your claim this now? Is, this is exactly. Gentiles, so the, the word isn't actually Gentiles. If you go to the Hebrew, it's Ummat. Um, okay. Ummah, Ummat is plural, nations. So, nations since the beginning of the diaspora. So, this is what I replied to Adnan. He's talking about our condition amongst the nations since we were exiled. So, not in this moment, in this moment and every moment prior to that, from the beginning when we were first exiled from Jerusalem. So this would have been a thousand years. Not sure why, this is what I'm saying to Adnan now, not sure why you think he means Muslims, when it's a thousand year period that predates Islam. And so you responded, Bahia lived under the Arab rule in Islamic Spain. He wrote in Arabic and the Gentiles he was talking about in the quote were the Arabs. Your reading comprehension is visibly poor. I hope you will now demonstrate some shame and apologize. And so I responded, I have got my response, I'm not sure. But basically, I have got my response, I just read it, so let me... So, no, he's talking about the 1,000 years of exile. He literally says, our position amongst the nations, this is the actual text, our position amongst the nations since the exile began. He doesn't say our position amongst the Ishmaelites. He doesn't say our position amongst the Arabs or amongst the Muslims. He says amongst the nations since the beginning of the exile. So what Adnan was doing, he was saying that this quote, which is talking about the condition of the Jews since we were exiled from Jerusalem, is applicable to Muslims. Okay. And I'm saying no, it's applicable to the Jewish condition since the beginning of the mm. exile, including under the Christians who you say persecute. Bril brilliant, Jews. brilliant, brilliant, amazing. I like that. Okay. So uh, Joseph is cla claiming that Bahia bin Bakuda is not talking about the Arabs or the Muslims. Correct? Correct? No, I'm saying he's talking about every all the nations. No, no, no. I, 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 Are you nations since the beginning of the exile? Okay, 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 okay. In that quote, when he says our living conditions are even better than theirs, when Bayer bin Bakuda say, makes that statement, he's saying, our, is he talking about the diaspora or is he talking about? Yes. Yeah. He's talking Islamic about the, Spain no, in the, the diaspora, otherwise he would Okay, say. okay. So you're claiming it's not talking about Muslim Spain, Cordoba in particular. Yes, you know. Good. Okay, good, good. I like that. I like that um, um, bravery. Okay. Uh, where is Bayer bin Bakuda? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. The nation. Okay. Now I'm going to read this quote, and that's why I asked Joseph 
that he clearly has comprehension problems. Okay. Bahe bin Pakuda. Bahe bin Pakuda, a Jewish rabbi writing in Islamic Spain in the city of Cordoba in 1080. 1080. In the year 1080, when Muslims are ruling Cordoba, the Umayyad Caliphate has already collapsed. Cordoba is still under Muslim rule, right? He writes, if one of our, if one of our contemporaries, are you listening? Are you listening? If one of our contemporaries, who is a contemporary today? Yes. Baya is writing in 1080 in Cordoba, in Cordoba, the Muslim capital of Spain. If one of our contemporaries, is, contemporaries looks for similar miracles now, okay, looks for similar miracles now, today, now, if you want to see a similar miracle today, now, then let him see, let him examine. Are you listening? Yeah, we're going to see now another blunder of mine, okay. Let him examine objectively our situation among the nations. The nations. Okay, or the Gentiles. No, I mean, okay, no, no, okay, the okay, okay, yes, uh, yes, okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah. Which Gentiles? Where is Bahia? Where is Bahia? Where is he? Let him see now. Now. Let him see us now. Where is he? Where is he? I just told you. In Cordoba, in Islamic Kartaba. Let him see now our situation among the Gentiles. Who is he talking about? The rulers, the people of Cordoba. Who were they? Muslims. Muslims, right? Okay, continue. Since the beginning of the diaspora and the way our affairs are managed in spite of the differences between us. So since that time, since that time, Today, he's talking about today. Okay, now coming to our situation today. Manage in spite of the difference between us and them, both secret and open. So our difference between us and the Arabs are secret and open, both known to them. They know because they're scholarly. They are very educated, right? Which are well known to them. Let him see. Let him. Who? Let him who? Let who see? Someone. If one of our contemporaries look for similar miracles now, so he's talking to that one who is looking now. Let him see now. Let him see now that our situation, as far as living and subsistence are concerned, is the same as theirs or even better. So he's talking about now, not the past. Now, in time of war and civil disturbances, you see how both their leaders, you see. So he's talking to the one who is looking now. I keep saying now, now, now. I'm sorry if I sound annoying because this guy, obviously there is a virus there. So I need to really, really push that hard into his uh, mind so that it gets in there, right? So, so you see how both their leaders, you see now. Who is you? Now, okay? Their vulgar and peasants toil, uh, sorry, how both their leaders and their vulgar peasants toil much more than the uh, middle and lower classes among us, the Jewish people, okay? According to our Lord's promise contained in the scriptures. Now, Baya bin Pakuda is clearly categorically saying that our condition with the Muslims, the Arabs of Cordoba is not even equal than, uh, to theirs, but even better. It's better than theirs. We live better lives than them. And even though our difference is known to them, they are known to them, they know who Jewish people are. They know our sources, they know our beliefs, even secret and open. Despite all of that, we have our living condition better than theirs. If not equal, better than theirs. Is this what Bahia is saying? What do you guys understand? Please be fair, be fair, don't be biased, okay? You may like me, you may like Joseph, don't be biased. What do you think Bahia is saying? Is he talking about now or he's talking about the past? I'm going to say one thing just before you... Now, is it, okay, let's, let's take voting. Let's take one. Did you hear all of that? Oh, you just came. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? Okay, what do you, wait, wait. No, no, let's, let's take voting. Let's take voting. Okay, you didn't follow. Who followed? Did you follow? Is it now or past? Did, what did you understand? Now? 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 
So there is uh, a no, consensus. No, it's very, very, very. It's, it's fine. That By the way, these are all Muslims, so I want to be fair to camera. Okay, so, so, but but okay, but well, they cannot all possibly be lying. What I'm going to say for those that you're fine to believe and agree with that. That's that's your right to. I'm not going to say. Anyone who's familiar with the way that Jewish rabbis write, Jewish scholars write, when somebody uses a statement that says, among the nations since the beginning of the Galut, the Galut is the word it uses. Galut means the exile, the exile from Jerusalem. So a thousand years prior to this rabbi writing this, the Jews, the Jews were exiled from Jerusalem. And since that point until recent history, we didn't have a state and we lived amongst other nations. Why the author chooses that sentence is because he's saying, while we've been exiled and we lived under Christians, we lived under Muslims, we lived under all of these people, as a general rule, our condition has been surprisingly good. Now, what Adnan has done in previous debates we've had, he's talked about how Christians persecuted Jews, how pagans persecuted Jews. And what this author is clearly saying is that amongst all the people we have lived, as a general rule, there have been times when we've prospered and done well. And if anyone wants to see a miracle of the Creator and His connection with the Jewish nation, look at our condition. And you can see that today. In recent history, the Jews were massacred in the Holocaust. Yet Jews today, as a rule, are not in the same poverty that they were in the time. Yeah, stick to Bahia. Stick to Bahia. And so, how the author, what the author has been explicit with, is since the beginning of the gen the exile, which is a thousand-year period, that Jews have, as a rule, had prosperous times under these different nations. It uses the term Galut and Umar. Okay. So, what do you make of this? If one of our contemporaries looks for similar yeah, miracles if, now, so I'm what not, is he talking? What is he saying here? He's, he's, he's talking about now, yeah. Literally, what? I'm, I don't know, so again. So when he says our living conditions, our living conditions. Wait, wait, wait. Let him see. Let him see the one who is looking for similar miracles now. And that so how does the court start? Wait. If one, no, no. Christians? If one of our, he's writing in Cordoba. No, but he's, he's, writing, he's, he's, he's writing for the Jewish people in Cordoba. Jews, Jews if one of our contemporaries looks for similar miracles I'm, now, what am I saying? Jump, what you wait, saying? wait. No, let him what see. Am I, I've not, what am I saying? What's my argument? Your argument is that he's not talking about his conditions in Cordoba among the Muslims. That's what you're arguing. No, yes? What yes? I'm explicitly stating is he's saying since the beginning of the exile, if you look at the general standard conditions. But what am I saying? You're saying that this, Baya is talking about Cordoba, his living conditions among the Muslims are better than Muslims. That's what I'm claiming from this quote. And so I'm. And, and, and can we find that there in the quote? I'm saying I can see how you can reach that conclusion, yes. And I'm saying, okay. and I'm saying, okay. what I'm saying. Now you, I'm, I'm so glad that you're saying that now. On Twitter, on Twitter, I, you, okay, for some reason, that's why you, you deleted the tweet. So Joseph, today, right now, in front of these cameras, admit that I can okay. see how Adnan can reach that conclusion. I can appreciate so, that. I can see that reading can also be read. I mean, even though that's the I, only I, reading that can be read, yeah. but I'm willing to concede some territory to you. So, but at least have the courtesy. Yeah, have the courtesy to admit. Adnan, yeah. I can see how you reach each of your conclusions. And I'm in my right to read that conclusion into the quote. So again. So I did not misrepresent the quote. I know you, you missed the first quote. You definitely misrepresented. That was maybe. Which, 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 which the, first the, quote? No, first quote is out. This one. This one. First quote is we were discussed it for one hour. So that's out. This quote. So I did not misrepresent so this I, quote. Again, so, Again, I can see how you reach the conclusion that yeah. you believe he's talking So about I did not Muslims. misrepresent this quote. Can, can I respond? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I can see how you reach that conclusion. How most Jews would read that is not the same way that you read Okay, it. no problem. But did I misrepresent this quote? Coming back to the main question. Did I misrepresent this historic quote? No, I did, I, did I mis, mispronounce it? Misapplied it? Well, did I mis did, did I mis misuse it? Unfortunately, I can't remember what you said. I'll go back to the original debate and see what you said. No, in, in the very beginning of this discussion, you said that Adnan is claiming things that are not there, and he's misusing the quote. And the discussion okay, started me, okay, because I, the discussion started with your claim that I misrepresent history all the time. Yes. Okay. Then I challenge you and you said, no, no, that was hyperbole. So you misrepresent history most of the times. I said, OK, no problem. Let's talk. So I said to you one example. You pulled out one example. We dealt with it. It's gone. 
Now, this is the second example you pulled as a misrepresentation of history on my part. Now you're saying you can see no, I why can, I would read that I conclusion into it. I can see why so, you would. Okay, so allow so, me to answer. So, me, so this example man, is... Allow me to answer. So yeah, I'm trying to yeah, let you it's, yeah. it's your point. I can see how you would read that, to reach that conclusion. If you actually read the quote as a Jew would read it, it's not saying what you're saying. So I'm trying to be gracious to you and say... I I'm, I'm being very gracious because where I took this quote from, this is a history of Spain written by David Nicole, if I'm not mistaken. It's titled Muslim Spain. I took the quote from that book and he's using it exactly how I'm using it to argue that the Jews were writing about their good treatment and their good living under right, Islam right. and Muslims in Spain. Not this is how he's using the quote. The so I'm being very, very courteous and generous, not using that. That's one of the, the difficulties or the, the problems with relying on secondary sources because you don't get the context of the primary source. If you read the primary Joseph, I, I'm a historian. I'm sorry to say that. Whether you like it or not, I'm a qualified historian. Okay, yeah, I, I have, I have, I well. have qualified. I don't, um, this is what we are discussing that right now. You, you, have, you have failed to show conclusively anywhere where I m m deliberately misrepresented history. You have failed Maybe. to show one example. Has he shown any example, brothers and sisters? Oh, let people do that. My, my, my Zionist, my Zionist friends out there, did he show any example where I deliberately, clearly, conclusively misrepresented history? Absolutely not. We have been honored by so, the So on that note, I will have to end because now I will need surgery after this, after this conversation of three hours. Okay, I'm bruised all over my body. I mean, you did most of talking, mate. <laughs> no, we did, we, we both, it was, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, to end on a positive note, there was no hate intended, there is no um, I mean, you bad wishes. Said, you I wish him. I wish him paradise. You said I wish. I wish. <laughs> I wish Allah guides him to Islam, <laughs> and he goes to paradise. I do not wish Jahannam for him. I don't want him to be a Zionist. That's why this conversation took place. Do we want the Zionists to go to hellfire? Absolutely not. We want even Netanyahu and Olmert and the current one. Who's what's his name? Uh, the I current. Want uh huh. I want the audience. No, no, no. What's, what's the current current prime minister? We even we even even him. We want this him to go to paradise. To All Israel. the crimes they have committed. Repent. Ask God for repentance. Ask Him for forgiveness. You have a chance. So long as you are alive, you can repent, turn to God, and you may be forgiven by God, despite all the crimes you have committed against the Palestinian people. So we do not wish you hellfire. We do not wish you death. We do not wish you bad. We wish you well. Even though all the crimes you are committing against the Palestinian people and beyond, we wish you well. We wish you the best. We want you to go to paradise. Okay? We don't want you to die and burn in hellfire. We don't. We don't. Likewise, Joseph, I have nothing but sympathy. Okay, we have a very proud, a very powerful history. We have a very, very magnificent past, the history of the Muslim civilization. We are proud of it. No one can take this away from us. No one. No one ever can take this. So long as we, the Muslims, are criminals, we are the criminals for not studying our history. If we were studying our history, our condition, our situation wouldn't be the same. If we studied what we achieved in the past, and the glorious past we have, the Muslim civilization, the best scholars, the best poets, the best military generals, the best kings in some cases. We had the most magnificent cities in the world, the best institutions. For over a thousand years, the Muslim universities were the best in the world. Okay, we need to talk about that more so that we can wake up to it, right? So, so we are the criminals for not studying it. So I wish you the best. So I wish you the best. My closing thought. My yeah. closing thought. Yeah. What Adnan does, he studies history but he selectively represents it, or misrepresents it. The Jewish history under Islam was one of both good and bad. Back-breaking jizya, I provided quotes of Jews who were forced to flee the land because they couldn't pay the jizya, even though they themselves were impoverished. I brought examples of the back-breaking taxes that were put on Jerusalem under the Abbasid. How the community had to, like, literally... You're repeating arguments. You're repeating and, arguments. So were you, Ajman. So were you. And no, so, I, I, I finished it. I didn't want to discuss any more. See, I didn't interrupt him. He cannot allow me to speak. And this is, thank God, why we have our own country, where we can have freedom of speech. And we're not under the boot of the Muslim. And so... How, how did you produce all the scholars and poets and intellectuals? And so, those who are writing in uh, the, uh, the, the Hebrew language and Arabic uh, alphabets. 
Are you finished? If all of them were persecuted. Are you Come on, stop this, uh, Joseph. Are you, you know, are you know, finished? you're ready. Are you finished? I'm finished. A yeah. Jew couldn't even build a synagogue. They couldn't even ride a horse. A Jew could not ride a horse. A Jewish prime minister. They had to wear distinctive. A Jewish prime they minister. Had to wear distinctive clothing. The ulema constantly. Uh, the physician of the sultan could not ride a ride ride a horse. But consistently attacked the caliphs if they employed Jews. There was huge. So he's now contradicting. So the sultans were employing Jews and the scholars are consistently attacking them. So he's now saying that the sultans were actually employing Jews and not giving them horses. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So this guy doesn't even listen to himself. He doesn't listen to what he's saying himself. So, so the sultans were employing Jews. The sultan, we're still there. Oh, we're, we're, we're still there. We're still there. Joseph, Joseph is going to kill me today. Oh, yeah. Hi, Paul. Good to see you, man. Joseph. He's gonna. He's really. How are you, from How are you? Okay. So Joseph now, just now, having said all those things, directly contradicting, uh, contradicted his own statement. He's now saying sultans were employing the Jewish people and the scholars were attacking the sultan. So now, which one is it? Which one is it? Were they employing the Jewish people? And when they were employing them, were they taking away their horses from them and putting yellow badges on them and persecuting them and imposing jizya? crushing jizya on them, or were these Jewish people given high positions, honor and dignity? So much so that the scholars of Islam were disturbed. They were attacking the sultans for employing the Jewish people. What are you talking about? Are you even making sense? He's gone back to the quotes. Okay, so let him continue. He's gonna do again shotgun, shotgun tactics. I don't have time. Are you gonna Are you gonna do the same again? Are we gonna yeah, We're gonna go on for another three hours. I need to go to the point. Okay, no, no problem. We'll, we'll stay. We'll stay. <laughs> so let's finish amicably, uh, on an amicable gonna, note. Are you gonna let me speak? Yeah, amicably, like a gentleman. So again, he's not, huh? Okay, sorry. And that's his opinion. I didn't say that. He said you're not. You're not a gentleman. <laughs> continue. I can't change people's minds, can I? So very simply, Jews faced persecute. Jews were second-class citizens under Islam. Adnan is correct. There were court Jews. There were what? Court Jews. The very well, the court Jews is what there is. The, Amnon Cohen wasn't saying that. He was talking about Jewish businessmen flourishing, happy. The the Jewish subjects Adnan, of the Sultan had nothing Jew? to mourn. Adnan, what is a court Jew? These are not court Jews. But what is a court Jew? A court Jew is a, an, a, an employee of the Sultan. It's, a, it's, it's not just an employee of the Sultan, it's anyone who has an official role within the So that's the an employee of the Sultan. And so. That's a court Jew. Al Rashid ruled that the only position they could hold was a money changer or was a physician. And the, with Abdurrahman III in Spain, the only position they could hold was a prime minister. Right? And in, in, in Granada, in the 11th century, in 1060s, Samuel Hanagid could, could only take the prime minister's position. You see what are, you are see what he's doing? Are we having you see debate? what he's doing? Are you going to yeah. let me finish? So, are you going to let me finish one sentence in this debate? Seriously. No, if you're going to if you're going to spew this kind of stuff, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. You're going to talk about Harun Rashid giving the money change. Hey, now he's contradicting himself. So Harun Rashid now is giving jobs to the Jewish people. I thought they were persecuted. They were being killed. What the hell are you saying, man? Are you even listening to yourself? First, you said sultans were employing them. The scholars were attacking them. That means the sultans, sultans were employing them. They were in good positions. Now you're saying Harun al-Rashid was giving them money, Adnan, Adnan, money what changes. Am I, what am I saying, Adnan? You're saying, you're saying the Jews were persecuted, and then you're, you, you are giving us evidence to the contrary, that the sultans were employing them. Harun al-Rashid was giving them jobs. Go on, go on. So very simply, I'll start with what I, I'll end with what I start. The Jewish history under Islam was mixed. The reason oh, why... Oh, good. The reason, We're getting somewhere. The reason... It's now mixed. Adnan, I thought you were going to let me speak. From a very bad, from a very bad evil experience, the Jewish people, they're suffering. Now we have come to mix. At least we, there is a mix now. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Jewish we're getting some. Inshallah, two more times you're going to be a Muslim soon, inshallah. Inshallah, two more inshallah. debates. Inshallah. Two more, inshallah. inshallah. Two more debates, you'll be a Muslim, inshallah. He's making progress. He's getting it. Jewish history under Islam was mixed. Hmm? Anyone familiar with Islamic sources knows that there were Jews 
in positions of authority. And the reason they were in those positions of authority was because they were skilled at that. So when it comes to being a doctor, there were Jews, Jews were some of the best doctors in the medieval period. Thank you. In both Christendom and Islam. No, uh, no, 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 and, okay. Continue, continue. You're making Jews, my points anyways, I, I won't stop Jews you. Jews and Christians, because of the previous kingdoms, the Christian kingdoms they lived under, were skilled at tax collecting and money, um, um, you know, certainly in the Jewish case, money lending, money changing. And so Jews and Christians were given these positions by the caliphs because it was in their interest to use this skilled labor. The people, the Muslims and the ulema, were outraged by this and so what tended to happen was those Jewish tax collectors, those Jewish doctors would find themselves fired, would find themselves persecuted. Examples, the examples, examples. Where, the, where, the, where, where one physician was fired from his position. Okay, let me isn't this amazing? Amazing discussion, isn't it? One example of a Jewish physician who was fired from his position because the ulama made noise. Why would ulama remove a useful doctor from his position and let people die. What kind of fatwa is this? Huh? If a Jewish doctor is doing a good job, why would you remove him from his position? It doesn't make sense. So he just made a claim and he, I want him to give evidence. That's why... Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, a Jewish doctor removed from his position. This is from Nisam al-Mulk. Oh, sorry? Nisam al-Mulk. What's that? It's a Muslim historian. Huh? A Muslim historian. Nizam al-Mulk. Yeah. Nizam al-Mulk. Yeah. No, he's not a historian. Okay, who's he, he was a vizier. Okay, vizier. He was so a vizier in Baghdad in the 10th um, century. Omar ibn al-Khattab appointed a Jewish tax collector in Iraq. After Muslims complained, Omar sacked him. Saeed ibn al-Waqas examined the issue of the Jewish tax collectors and found that only this one knew the work properly. Omar said, act as if the Jew is dead. He then appointed a Muslim who was more successful. Okay. An example Th of This is Nizam al-Mulk? Yes. Nizam al-Mulk is not a Muslim historian. Okay, and I can, I, can, I can tell you this report doesn't exist. This, I can, I can, you're going to now have to, just like you, okay. you, you've been pestering me on sources, yeah? I now challenge you okay. to bring this report from Omar bin Khattab, where Perfect. a Jewish man was appointed. Perfect. Firstly, Perfect. firstly, Perfect. firstly, 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 firstly. Firstly, Let's now, now, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 you can, you can, you can. But point. even even if this incident is true, it really pulls the rug from your feet. Earlier you were saying Omar had I, 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 wait, 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 uh, earlier you were saying Omar had banished I, I, all the Jews. He he, he he ethnically cleansed the Jews. Wait, 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 wait. Do you remember he said that? Okay, wait, okay. To Omar, Omar, he ethnically um, cleansed them from the okay. So how do you ethnic, ethnic, how do you ethnically cleanse someone and then appoint them to a position I, of tax collector? Do you know what ethnic cleansing means? It, what does it mean? It means remove someone of an ethnicity no, it, from it, a region. It, it, yeah, it, it means killing no, off. No, it doesn't. That's genocide. Yeah, okay, okay, go on. For a historian, go on, you don't know on. your terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Eth ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing. So genocide is a legal do, definition. Do, 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 ethnic cleansing doesn't. But in common okay, parlance, okay, okay. it means the removal well, we're of people based on their ethnicity. Wait, wait. Comes from the atrocities Wait, and Syria. Are you going to stand by this? Yes, ethnic cleansing is the removal of an ethnic group from an area. Is it, okay. Is the forced removal of an ethnic, racial, or religious group from a ethnic given area? Ethnic cleansing is the systematic forced removal of ethnic, racial, and religious groups from a given area with intent of making a region ethnically homogeneous along with direct removal, extermination, deportation or population transfer. It also includes Literally indirect methods said. aimed at forced Literally migration by coercing the victim group to flee no, no, and right. preventing its turn, uh, in return, such as murder, such as murder. Are you listening? No, 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 no. You read the first sentence. And you went, hooray, yeah? I but let me read. Wait, wait, wait. What's what I said? Wait, wait, wait. Such as murder. Is the removal of are, you, are you listening? Wait, wait, wait. Such as cleansing. murder. Wait, wait. Such as murder. Is what, what, what Israel is doing to Palestinians, right? Would you describe it the same so way? Say, say okay. What okay. Now. okay, he's okay. He knows okay. that. He, okay, okay, wait. You can see that Such point. as murder, you can see that rape, and ethnic. property destruction. What's my so, definition of so, ethnic cleansing? So Omar, Omar, Omar was committing murder, rape, and property destruction, and then appointing the same Jews to go and tax collect. What were the other the examples of ethnic cleansing was the removal of a people. Omar al-Khattab removed the Jews from the Hijaz to Iraq. 
which is where we're talking about now. He removed them to Yeriko, this is, Jericho, This is true. Israel. This is true. But it That's was not it was means. not ethnic cleansing. I mean, it was not ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing. It's not. When you remove an ethnic group from an area, you literally just read the definition. Okay, okay. So why was he ethnic cleansing? You know what it means? It, it's what let me let me explain what what ethnic cleansing what ethnic, ethnic cleansing means ethnic cleansing means what israel is doing to palestinians this is exactly what it means okay okay wait wait now no 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 wait 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 please please let me finish now let me finish 2 million jews in israel i was speaking at that 2 million jew um, arabs in israel every single jew ethnically cleansed from the hijaz by umar al khattab moved to israel and iraq where we're talking about have you seen what the, have you seen what the the, the the members of the knesset the arab members of knesset uh, what they say about the, the treatment in Israel? So Do you want me to play videos right now? Wait, 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 wait. You just made a claim. Notice wait, you said the Arabs are there. Are they in Israel? Yes. Okay. Have yeah. they been ethnic? How do they feel no. about Israel? How do they this feel? How many Jews are there living under the Palestinians? Zero, zero, because they were ethnically cleansed. Because how many Jews are living in Saudi Arabia in the Hijaz? Zero, because they were ethnically cleansed by Umar Al Khattab. He doesn't like the word ethnically cleansed because it has negative. Because ethnic cleansing constitutes forceful murder, rape, wait, wait, rape, rape, and removal, removed. removal and destruction. It, it, so it what? Simply mean the removal of. So, so why group. were the Jews in? Uh, why were the Jews in Palestine? for 1,000 years. What were they doing there? It's, if Omar... Well, who, who, wait, 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 from the wait, if, okay, okay. Adnan, wait, wait. The Hijaz, okay. listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Omar al-Khattab ethnically cleansed every single I got the point. Jew from the Hijaz. I, yes I, or no? I, 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 yes or no? No, no, let me explain now. What, what he's trying to do. Because he's NBC, Fox News, and CNN, just like the Muslims are terrorists on news channels today, okay, just like that Omar was an ethnic cleanser, right? In, in same light, just as Muslims are seen as terrorists, extremists by these the Western answers, media yes. outlets, just Simply, like that Omar yeah. was an ethnic the cleanser. What ethnic Omar did, let me explain. The there is a difference. After you being, see, wait, let me finish. Being, after being taxed 50%, let me finish. Ethnically cleansed. Okay, let me finish. Omar. Omar, ethnic cleansing. Wait, 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 brother. Yeah, wait. Ethnic cleansing constitutes specific behavior, right? Which has been defined by scholars. Be quiet. Which scholars? Be quiet. I'll, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Ethnic. You're not letting me speak. Let me, let me. You're not letting me speak. Which scholars okay. have defined ethnic cleansing? Name one of them. Okay. I will. There's a legal definition okay. for genocide, but not for ethnic cleansing. Okay. And you don't know that. Okay, okay, okay. Because you're doing it. That's why you know about it. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that's, that's why there's zero. That's why. I, I don't need to know about it because I'm. Every okay. Arab country and he has the audacity Wait. to say that Jews ethnic cleanse okay. after Jews have been removed from almost every Muslim country, just like Omar al Khattab ethnically cleansed the Jews from he's the not gonna, He's not going to. You cleansed. have to let me speak. You made Did your point it? 50 times. You made the same point. Now let me make my point once. Ethnic cleansing constitutes a consistent consistent behavior towards a given community yes or no yes no, that's okay wait 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 ethnic, ethnic cleansing, ethnic cleansing, ethnic cleansing. okay now now omar what Removing he did wait go be ethnicity. quiet be quiet did omar cleansing. who took jerusalem from the byzantines who Never took jerusalem from the byzantines this is gonna be the answer to his question who took jerusalem in the year 637 from the Byzantines, Omar. from the Romans. Omar. Omar, he knows. Omar, were any Jews allowed in Palestine when the Byzantines were ruling? Um, in Jerusalem, no. No, no. When was the first time the Jewish people were allowed to go back to Palestine? And not to Palestine, to Jerusalem. Jerusalem, which is Palestine. No, no, because no, the entire country that when? was. When, 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 when? So it was under Omar. When Omar when? Made a, when? Made three, four. Okay, so Omar is putting the Jewish people where they wanted to do to be for the last five hundred years. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. Be quiet. I'm not finished. The Jewish people were banished on pain of death from the land of Palestine forever after the revolt of Bar Kokhba in one one thirty two C E. Emperor Hadrian, the Roman Emperor, he raised the entire city to the ground. It destroyed the city of Jerusalem completely. It was raised to the ground due to the Jewish revolt in 132. And then no Jewish people were allowed to come back to the city of Jerusalem. 
After that, Christians come to power in the fourth century. They take the city of Jerusalem in, uh, after Constantine comes to power. And the Christians were always anti-Semitic. At that time, they blamed the Jewish people for killing Christ, right? So the Jewish people were not allowed to come to the land of Palestine. It was when Omar and the Muslims took the land of Palestine, the Jewish people were allowed to come back after almost 400 years of absence. Jews, Jews were crying to go back to Palestine and to the city of Jerusalem. They were longing for Jerusalem. Their poetry, the writings, okay, this is where Zionist movement came from, that, from, from that longing gone wrong. That longing went wrong. And this is where we got this secular, godless, atheistic movement called Zionism that really, you know, started to do something else, right? But the Jewish people were already there in Jerusalem. So what he's calling ethnic cleansing, if you spoke to the Jewish people at that time, they welcomed it. Why? Because from Arabia, they were, com they were expelled. The word is expelling. Omar expelled them, no doubt. This is historically accurate. Omar expelled the Jewish people from the Arabian Peninsula because it was sacred space for the Muslims. Okay, no, not only the Jewish people. Let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. No, 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 no. Don't make it something ethnic. You're a liar. No, 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 no. You have to let me finish. Imagine if Israel. No, 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 you know, let me talk. Let me finish, let me finish. Let people understand. I'm not interested in, I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in people. Let people understand. Ethnic cleansing has to be ethnic. Yes or no? Ethnic cleansing has to be ethnic. No, 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 you're lying. That's literally religion. No, 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 wait, wait, Serbia, wait, Kosovo, wait, Bosnia, wait, you wait, even know your wait. Own okay, okay, that okay, was based on religion. okay, People with the who same were, who, who, who was expelled from Arabia? Who was? Jews. The Jewish people, the Christians, and pagan Arabs, and the very family of the Prophet, those, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So no disbelievers were allowed in the sacred Muslim space. This is exactly what the law was. The rule was that even the family of the Prophet, the Arabs, were not allowed to exist in the Arabian Peninsula. So on that basis, Omar did not only ask the Jews to leave, it were the Christians of Najran, the Jewish people of Hejaz, and the pagan Arabs of Arabia. All of them were asked to leave. So your spin, your lies will not work. Okay, now, now, so what happens? So the Jewish people move to Yemen, they move to Syria, they move to Palestine, and they flourish for the next thousand years, which is what Joseph, people like him, Zionists like him, cannot fathom. On that note, I have to go. Sorry, my salah time. Thank you very much.